Oh, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> were you having fun over there? What were you? Uh, what were you watching? What were you doing? Good night, sweet prince. That one's dead. That one's dead. <laughs> What was that? Oh, hey, uh, thank you. Uh, sick fit. Thank you very much. Actually, I got to edit my description because I forgot I was wearing my sick fit. Um, hold on. Uh, 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 uh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Model. Outfit. Asset. Oh, wait. Eh. Eh. Easy as that. God, I'm a genius. Okay, cool. There we go. Boom. Your honor, he has dripped the fuck out. Your honor, he's drippy. Wait, why can't I hear my own music? Am I not? I thought I usually heard my own music. What happened? Is that doubling? Oh, no, that's doubling. Oh. Oh, that's bad. Wait, no, I think I fixed it. Woo! Are we good? Are we good? Hey, thank you very much for the gifted chips. I saw you over there, Neroro. I see your 15 gifted chips, and thank you for the gifted chip. Um, yum, 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 yum. And thank you for the outfit that I get to wear into the bayou tonight. We're playing a little bit more Hunt Showdown. It's been a bit. It has been a little bit, but I'm excited to get back into there. Uh, into there. I'm excited to go back to Louisiana and fight zombies and other people. Rears, today marks 100 days since you're... What? Already? Oh, no. Uh, Rears, mark, uh, today marks 100 days since your debut. Thanks for 100 absolutely unbearable days together with Rears I hope we can keep hating each other for a long time. Has it already been 100 days? Holy shit. GL! Whoa! Thank you for the 20 gifted uh, 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 memberships. Is something happening today I didn't know about? What are we celebrating besides 100 days, apparently? I guess. Uh, Lean Tindo, just wanted, uh, want to see if you still say my name in the same j uh, jolly way like the last times. If not, buy axles. For le legal reasons, this is a joke. Oh, I meant, uh, <laughs> did I say that the jolly way? What I meant was, haha, <laughs> Lintendo. <laughs> anyway, yay, I guess, 100 days, we did it! Thank you, Eggsman, for the five gifted memberships. And thank you, Chrissy, for two months. Welcome back. <laughs> I, I didn't read it. Two months. Looking forward to all the things to come with you. Thank you for being a great motivation for me to keep working hard. You don't need me to motivate you. All you need is the fear of incredible failure and, 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 and not living up to your potential. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all you need is yourself. Uh, a, a banana says, hey, Ruse, yesterday was my birthday. Could I request a ye old huzzah? Yeah, hold on. <clears throat> Announcing into the Lord's Keep one a banana today marks the day upon which the banana was birthed from the tree may i get one merry huzzah from the rusaders hip hip huzzah how'd i do <laughs> speaking of uh hip hip huzzahs and uh ye old bullshit I have a little bit of Mjolder with me today, and I'm gonna be drinking a little. I'm gonna be drinking a little Mjolder. Nom 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 nom. Lemon grab. Never heard of him. <laughs> a banana. Uh, Gwen Ichigo says it's my birthday too. Do I get a happy birthday? <laughs> Not like I care or anything. <laughs> I don't know, Gwen. Wait, where's my happy 100 days, huh? Huh? Where's my happy 100 days from you? What do I get? What do I get out of what what you got going on? I'm kidding. Happy birthday, asshole. <laughs> Welcome back for two months, Pingloaf. All right, anyway, happy birthday and happy post birthday to you, Banana. Damn, 101, uh, 101 days already with my least favorite idol. Happy 100 days, you bastard. Thanks, Case. All right, I can't sit here and thank everybody forever. We're done. No more renewals, no more super chats until I get into the game. Thank you very much. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on today. I took a day off. I had to do some homework. I finished, theoretically, after I do some quality checking, a voice pack for you jackaxes. You're welcome. Um, and I'm doing more voice work that I can't talk about, so I'm not going to spoil too much uh, tonight. So that is other stuff I got to do. Yay, I guess. I got a lot of homework. I got a lot of homework. You're never going to be... Then, like... Two to three months from now, 
when all of this has come to light and how much homework I was doing this month is obvious, you're going to lose your fucking minds. You're going to look back on this time and be like, how did he do that much in that short of amount of time? And it's because I'm insane. I'm fucking insane. Uh, Saya says, hey, Mr. Krim, yesterday was my birthday. Am I too late to request a birthday message from my least favorite Oshi? I brought cupcakes for the class. You are too late. Uh, in fact, not only are you too late, I'm offended that you didn't show up on your birthday because I'm obviously the most important part of your life. You have to leave. You have to leave right now. <laughs> ah, yeah. Happy birthday, asshole. Azure Ruse's E kitten. Don't upgrade yet. I haven't dropped the voice back. I haven't even uh, quality checked it. I have to go back and listen to Azure Ruse. It's going to be the worst moment of my life. Uh, thank you for the membership. You telling me you packed those voices? I am telling you that, Eggman. Anyway, happy, happy birthday from uh, everybody to you, Saya. You are our saint, our Saya, and um, the, the, uh, uh, the birthday. Congratulations. Hopefully it's full of, it was full of cake and um, lots of theft, I guess. Is that what other people do for their birthday? Steal what they want. That's what I'm doing. Anyway, let's all have a little bit of cheers uh, for the birthdays and for the 100 days. I'm going to take a little sip of this mjod. Hold on. Ooh, it smells. Ugh, smells a little. Smells kind of honey. -y. You know, I probably should have known better than to grab honey wine if I knew I wasn't a big fan of honey. But hey, it's a social day. Why not? Huzzah! Today's your birthday, too. No shot, so why is everybody's birthday right now? Hold on, what day is it today? Let's see, today's February. That means that today's February. I need to add, why are all your parents fucking in May? <laughs> I understand the September babies. That means they, your parents got drunk on New Year's. I understand, like, uh, you know, uh, every, every baby that's ever happened uh, that came out in, like, uh, what is it, summer? Or nine months after summer, I get that. But, like, why today? Why now? I understand the November babies. That makes sense. Oh, Cinco de Mayo. Oh. Now I get it. All right, hold on. I'm going to take a little sip of this. I want to see what, I, what I'm feeling. Oh, it's got a little, a little bite at the end. But, honestly, the opening is a little... It's soft. It's kind of honey it tastes a little bit like honey medicine, but it's not bad. I could see myself growing to like that. I want you to know I'm being a very extra piece of shit, and I'm drinking it out of a very fancy glass. It's a very fancy glass I'm holding. Chloe says, happy 100 days. More to go. Yippee! Thanks for the soup. Uh, it has already been uh, 12 minutes of yapping, so it is time for me to start talking about what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be playing a little bit of Hunt Showdown. It is a technically a competitive online shooter. It is an extraction shooter in which you are playing a bounty hunter and or cowboy in the Louisiana Bayou uh, in probably like roughly the 1800s. You are going in to fight against a zombie apocalypse slash demon outbreak, but you are by no means the good guys. You are simply contracted by a bounty hunting... Um, company that gives you an immunity shot so you won't get infected with the demon virus and you go to kill demons and collect their souls and then you take it back to the company to make money we are such pieces of shit we are more than willing to kill each other uh even though that is a net detriment we are more than willing to kill other demon killers uh if it means we get to take the bounty home and take our money so, for example, if another player kills the demon and banishes them to hell, I am completely justified and encouraged to shoot them in the head, take the bounty from them, and then take that back to the company. Does that make sense? We're pieces of shit. All right, cool. Now that we all know who everybody is and what's going on in this game, let's get started with a little bit of Hunt Showdown. Uh, I tend to play this game using my ears largely, which means no music today, but you'll get the music of the game, okay? Okay. Oh, and the music in this game does go kind of hard. I don't know if we have perms for that, J-Max. I haven't even checked. Uh, I could take a look at some point. I've never played Get the Fuck Out. It sounds spooky. Uh, not like the assets make you look cool or anything, says Aaron Deal. <laughs> well, you have a range of Mario to think for that one. It's actually an outfit from inside Hunt Showdown, believe it or not. It is not my main outfit. I typically wear the Lonely Howl, but I will be wearing the Devil's Advocate today because this outfit goes hard. Uh, Lainey says, today isn't my birthday. Can I get a small and disappointing huzzah? Um, yeah, I got you. Hold on. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
Um. Hi, there's my devil's advocate. <laughs> We're already here, baby. Let's go. That's the one. That's the boy. <laughs> um. Oh, this music. Hold on. Take a moment to appreciate. We got fanning and levering. This is the rapid fire boy. They really want me to do fanning and levering guns today, so I will do it. As far as my fanning gun is gonna go, I would like to wield a Scottsfield. Cool outfit, thumbnail art too. Love the perfect rendition of the accident enemy. Fuck yeah. For fanning, I'm gonna take my Scottsfield Model 3, and for levering, I believe that leaves me either a levering shotgun. Ooh, levering silenced Winfield would be kind of funny. We could still be a little sneaky. <laughs> Perfect. All right, we will bring. Ooh. Don't fear the Reaper. We won't take that yet, though. Um, let's go in for a relatively cheap build today. We're gonna take this little guy, and then as a backup guy, I will go ahead and grab myself the Lonely Owl. Um, where are you, Lonely Owl? Oh, I also really like playing as the Reptilian. Happy hunting, Roost. Thanks, Mari. What do we got? Dual wielding and quarter man. Oh, wow. What lucky rolls today. All right. So that means I could take my birth year. No, wait. Yeah, that means I'll take a birth year and I'll take uh, double pistols. Double pistols. Um, What if I took... Ooh. I could took Im take Ember and Ash. Nice. All right, hold on. I'm almost done. I'm just grabbing a backup character real quick, and then we'll get right to the game. And I've got one more character to recruit, and this one's going to be, I think, the, ooh, the Reaper. We'll take the Reptilian in. Uh, longbow, Blades here. Hey, Roos, today isn't my birthday, but last February 25th, though. Huh? Oh, your birthday was February 25th. Well, <laughs> happy late birthday win. Thank you. Manual Koi Raid! Oh, is that Shinri Senpai I hear? Shinri Senpai, get in here. You won't. Welcome in, Manual Koi's. Thank you for the raid. How'd the stream go? What'd you get up to today? The Stalker Snarl. I'll take the Wayfinder on this guy, and then I want to take the Hand Axe just to get a little silly with it. Uh, and then I'm going to take Poison Arrows because those are fun. And we'll take some knuckle dusters in this. And just in case, as a little backup plan, we'll take the evergreen quad derringer. Nice. All right, cool gamers. Manual coin ray, uh, pre-recorded. Pre-recorded, doing what? Doing what? Anyway, welcome in, coys. How was the pre-recorded stream though? How did it go? Did you have fun? <gasps> oh, yeah, that's right. I wanted to show you guys how the stalker beetles work. Okay, I'll bring a stalker beetle and a firebomb with me, too, just so you guys can see how that works while we're out here. How's that sound? All right, let's play Bounty Hunt. We're going to play into teams of two today. Koi! Nami, super cozy. I fell asleep. Oh, Slime Rancher. Ooh. We love a little Slime Rancher. I might have to take off my uh, sticks on my shoulder. You're not going to be able to see some of the game, huh? You know what? Maybe I do something unheard of. Maybe today is the day where I do this instead. Maybe today is the day where instead of this. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Well, I wouldn't be able to see your guys' chat if I did that. Never mind. Well, maybe I can still make it work. Hold on, I've got an idea. Mm 
Would that work? <gasps> oh, boop. Oh. There we go. And then chat's still there, and I'm still there, and now we can see everything. Okay, cool. Uh, this might be the type of game where I'm going to go ahead and want to have uh, some vague... Uh, the game take precedence this time. Just because I feel like the game has a lot of detail going on, and a lot of times you guys are like, how did you see that, or how did you hear that? And I think at least for the seeing part, this is going to help you understand what's going on and how I'm seeing slash hearing the things I'm seeing slash hearing. Okay? Okay, so let's get back in there. Does this still work? Whoop. Sure does. Cool. Game time. Bruce, what are you wearing, says Hexfan. Well, to answer your question, Hexfan, I am wearing the outfit that this character is wearing, the Devil's Advocate. It was made for me by Orinji Maru. Uh, it is a, mostly, I assume, I'm going to assume sheep's wool or lamb's wool, rather. Uh, you know, some sticks from a bayou or a swamp. I got a hood. I got a little mask, though I wear it on my shoulder, not my face today. Uh, and a lot of chains and leather and a cowbell, just in case, so that you know I am a shepherd of the damned. I mean, uh, of the, of the, the uh, of the, um, fa faithful, of the faithful. <laughs> Maybe while we wait for this match to find, oh, it already found. I was gonna say I could shrink myself just a tad today. Ah, good enough. Good enough for now. I I'm experimenting with the idea of using less overlay. We'll see. I think the cows are the ones who wore the bells, not the shepherds, lol. I think the uh, implication here is that the devil's advocate is wearing sheep's wool and a cow's bell. I think it's a lot of imagery having to do with, like, sort of a mockery of the shepherd type of deal. Maybe a little bit of a mockery of God, a little bit of a mockery of Jesus. I am warm. You know the bayou is notoriously cold and dry. <laughs> I'm kidding. It would be awful to wear this outfit in the bayou. This would be the worst. Ooh, that blood red lighting. Now that's what we're talking about. All right, so today I am wielding a Winfield Silencer. For those who are unaware, this game takes place around the 1800s-ish, I think, or maybe like late 1800s. So you are using technology that is very much like cowboy era shit. Uh, which does mean a lot of manual loading, which I know all loading is technically manual loading. But by that, I mean just, you know, putting things directly, oops, putting things directly into the, uh, no clips is what I'm saying in most of these. They do not have clips. How's audio gamers? All right, ears peeled, eyes peeled. Let's do this. Great audio. Audio's good. Perfect. Now, it has been a second since I've played this. I'm not saying I'm rusty, but I'm also not saying I'm not. How am I going to kill you in an easy way? I'm just going to shoot you. So these guys are very resistant to bullets, but I also have fanning. Fanning is a trait that is not on all hunters, but it basically makes it so... Uh, sorry, I have levity. So it basically makes it so anytime I'm wielding a gun that uses lever action, like this one, where you have to pump the lever every time you want to shoot, as long as I'm not aiming down sights, my character will hold it at a cocked angle and pump very quickly. So it becomes a very rapid fire gun. I also have fanning, which means I can fan the hammer on a gun like this. See how my character puts his hand over the uh, hammer up there? So then I can go. Very inaccurate, very loud. Gives me away, but shoots very fast. Anyway, everybody on the map probably knows where I am now, and that's okay. We let them know where we're at because uh, I fear neither God nor man. Ooh, piece of candy. Let's see, where are we off to next? Uh, Knowing that I know now, I think it's probably gonna be at Lawson or Blanc, so we need to get up there. And it looks like today we're hunting the crow. 
What do you fear? Um, commitment. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry, doggies. You're too loud if I leave you alive. I'll explain game mechanics as we go to those who don't know what's going on. Uh, this is called Dark Sight. It allows me to see where the next clue is so I can narrow down where my quarry is. My quarry, of course, being the demons. If it makes you feel better about those dogs, the dogs are infected and are trying to kill me. So, I mean, and also they're starving to death in their cells since their humans are no longer around. I don't want to step on twigs and make too much noise. Don't want to spook the crows and make too much noise. I am one with the crows. I hear a horse. And I have to, can't afford to have some loud ass horse being pissy at me. So you're opposed to both NPC zombies and bosses, but also the other players. Yep. And there's no real way to play this game solo, at least not in the mode that I joined in on. So I'm always up against teams, which is, you know, challenging in its own way. I do hear combat going on over here, and I honestly would rather participate in combat than hunt the bounty. So I'm going to go figure out who's shooting who. Water loud. That explosion sounded kind of like somebody fighting a boss. It's a little further out. I thought it was here, but it's actually further away. How far away is that? Let me think. That might be over at Windy or Arden. Hmm. We don't like windows here. Thought I heard a horsey get pissed off. Steady now. Just a second. The explosion stopped. Sounds like they won whatever the fight they were having. Give me just one second. Shepherd in the fields. Thanks for the gift to Chip, Shaco. Seen those videos of the guy who walks around in the marsh barefoot just picking shit up? Very stupid, but also balls of steel. I have seen those videos actually. Yeah, someone just set off crows over here. Oh, they're moving. They're in that area over there. They did it so quietly. They must have killed him with melee. Interesting. All right, so here's the thing. I could go in there and just start fighting them, but the reality is that the players who are back here exploding things are going to come up here looking for them. So my best bet is to kill these players first and then go for the guys who killed the boss, okay? Okay, here we go. Oh, there's demon dogs right here. That's awkward. A dead guy. A dead couple guys. Hanging out in the mud. 
All right, so we ambush the players who are going to be coming from this way. And then we'll go figure out what's going on up here. All right? All right. Ooh, sounds like somebody else already got on them. <laughs> Unless those guys across the map aren't actually going to be pushing up here. Maybe they don't give a shit. Maybe they're just hunting mobs. That'd be weird. Two bros chilling in the mud. Five inches apart. Because they're not gay. That's not true. They died holding hands. They loved each other, and that's beautiful. Man, they should have been here by now. But I also really don't want to get caught in the crossfire. If I if I push now, right? If I push now, that team's going to be coming up behind me, and I don't want to do that. But I'm also running out of time. The banishing's already at 66%. Oh, hear that? There's the team. They just pissed off some ducks over there. All right, let's kill these dogs. Now to figure out what to do here. Okay, so they're going to want to escape here or here. And I'm kind of stuck in the middle of this field. All right. There's another team over there. Why are there so many teams out here right now? This is getting, this is getting weird. Oh, there's someone out there. Interesting. Ooh. I just heard movement right here. Hold on. One second. All right, time to show you how the beetle works. So this is called a stalker beetle. Oh, there's a player. See that? Oh, tried to kill my beetle. I blew my beetle up on the person on the roof. That's funny. All right, so we know where a few people are. Loud. We're putting each other down. I gotta use the noise to approach while I can, or I'm gonna be a sitting duck. Okay, hold on. Did they win the fight? They might have already won the fight, which is bad for me. Nah, they should fight me. Yeah, I got time. Okay. They're fighting, they're fighting. I've got time, I've got time. There's one right there.
Wow, there's people out there fighting. So someone with a sniper rifle. Wow. Are they making a run for it? They sure fucking are. I gotta move. Hold on, I gotta catch them. One second. Oh, there, he made it to the escape. Shit, I better hurry. Crows. Ah, no time. We're setting them off. Fuck it. Players here too. I'm in so much trouble. Oh, that's a loud gun. What do you have? Oh, there you are, you fucker. Ooh, this is a lot of spice. <laughs> Well, they didn't get out yet, so they probably died. You hear that? Someone's running over there. He's got a buddy over here. Ugh. Yep. Woo! Okay then. <laughs> They're not pursuing yet. I think they think my friend's over there. I don't have a friend. I came here alone. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, what do we get? We got another, okay, we've got another med kit back. And just to cover my tracks a bit, those bees ought to keep them busy. Now, let's see. My best bet is to run to this escape over here. <sighs> my stamina. Okay, we got fire bombs. Nice, 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 nice. Bees! Bugs are my friends. <laughs> oh my god, he's got a suitcase full of bees! Oh, I gotta get some more of this mead in, in your and me if I really want to get going. All right, let's take a look around, see if they decided to pursue. I'm pretty clean right now. Oh, they just now picked up the other bounty. They just now felt safe enough to do that. <laughs> Oh, 
shall we? I had to do it to you. Yeah, right? That's nice of the bounty team to just chill like that and wait for me. <laughs> and then the other team who killed them to just leave the bounty laying on the ground. That was really cool of them. Freebie! I'll just run in, snatch it off the ground, and just do a fucking full sprint the other direction. No problem. No problem. I'm uh, the long-distance Bayou Runner champion for three years running now. <laughs> What did the horse do? It had a lame leg and it was going to be eaten alive by zombies. So it's better I put it down. That's what it did. Maybe the real friends were the bees that we threw along the way. Yep, maybe. I've made it to a boat. They did not extract, which says to me that they did decide to try and pursue me for my bounty, but they will never, ever make it in time. They're out of time. Morak says, you always remind me of my best friend in school who was the goth girl who did not play about bugs. Yeah. Not to be confused with the goth girl who doesn't play about reptiles. Me. Good. I don't play about either. I like reptiles. I like bugs. Hear that? They're shooting behind me. They're angry. I got away. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for putting the bounty team down for me, guys. That was very nice of you. You can't keep getting away with this. Yeah, I used to own a um a ball python. He's really cool. I liked him. He would sit in my lap or climb inside my hoodie when I was playing video games. E wink. Yeah, sometimes I think people in this game play a little too slow. A lot of times I think people in this game do not realize how valuable it is to just take decisive action. If you just run in and take the bounty, sometimes that's all you really need to do because everybody's anticipating this very slow, drawn out, like flip over the tables and shoot at each other, trade fire, reload, heal, trade fire, reload, heal. Half the time I'm like, nah, I'm just gonna run in and grab that shit. And if I run in and grab it, they're like, huh, what do you mean he's running away? And I'm like, bye. new oh that's kind of cool actually i like that what's this allows katana to be sheathed which enables a first strike attack that does extra damage that is the weeaboo only weapon They combine throwing melee weapons in the world with throwing knives and throwing axe expertise. That's really cool. I like that. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's do that. I'm going to show you the throwing weapons. I'm going to unequip this and I'll grab, uh, do I have throwing axes unlocked yet? If not, I'll just grab the throwing. I do. So we'll go throwing axes is my main, uh, melee weapon. Cool. Okay, so what I just took was uh, traits. If you get out with your hunter and survive, they get trait points, and you could spend those on upgrades that are permanent until that hunter dies. But if the hunter dies, you lose that hunter, all of their weapons, all of their rewards, all of their level ups forever, right? Uh, and what I picked up was the ability to stay aiming down my scope in between shots, which is really nice. And I picked up the ability to be very good with throwing melee weapons, even at melee range, and to be able to throw weapons I find in the world. So, like, if I find a sledgehammer laying around on the map, I could pick that up and fucking fling it at somebody. Uh, ridiculously, it's great. 
Do you lose your hunter's priceless friendship too, says Dead Man's Candle. Dead Man's Candle, in no world could you ever lose your hunter's priceless friendship. I think that uh, that that lasts forever. It is not about how long someone lives, but about the impact they make on our lives that matters, isn't it? Isn't that true? The, the, the effect somebody had on you doesn't die. That's where true immortality comes from. This isn't how I die. When I do a, you know, a, a sewer slide charge into the enemy and my friends are like, I don't have any friends, but one day if I have any friends and they're like, oh no, D don't do it, don't do it. This is how you die, Ruse. I'm gonna turn around to them and look at them dramatically and be like, no, this is how I live forever. And then when they tell tales of me in taverns and shit, they'll be like, damn, he was right. <laughs> Ooh, glad to hear it, Louie. I hope you're enjoying Hunt Showdown. It can be a hard game to break into because a lot of people who play Hunt Showdown have been playing it for like the full six years or whatever that it's existed. But I definitely think it's worth it. I think it's a fun game. It is probably, not even probably, it is by far my favorite shooter I've played. So there's that. Uh, I'm always on the lookout for new good extraction shooters or extraction looters. I really like Dark and Darker as well. If I could find a really good PvP melee medieval or fantasy, preferably extraction looter, I'd play that as well. Um, the problem I have with Dark and Darker right now is that sometimes its combat can feel a little weightless. I still really like it. and I think it's a lot of fun, especially if these server issues got fixed. I think it would be exceptional. Oh, I put my melee weapon on the wrong key. Uh-oh. Give me that bag. Oh. The boss is here. We already found it. All right, so it looks like we're up against the butcher, baby. Are you by any chance interested in a game about democracy? I very much enjoy Helldivers 2 to answer your question before before you tell me what the question is. Oh, the butcher angry. Um, but I do not have perms for it. Oh, there's a new way in here. Oh, there's an undermine area. Oh. Sounds like he's up in the building, not in the mine itself. Mr. Butcher, are you in here? Oh, hot, 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 hot. Thanks for my axe back. Bye. Hot, 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 hot. Oh, no players here yet. Hey, thanks for the glizzy. So the problem with fire damage is you can see it permanently gets rid of my health and I can't get that back. And if it burns out the whole bar, that bar's gone forever. Um, you gotta be a little careful with the butcher. Also, I don't have a good melee weapon to fight him with. I wish I had like a hammer or something laying around. Ah, well, this'll do. Hey, big man. Why would you do that? That was rude. Okay, so it's still white. Uh, so if you look at the top left, you can see that there is a blinking white diamond. If that turns red, that means there's other hunters at the boss of me. Hey, what the hell? Okay. 
I gotta let him finish his rage. So bosses have a rage meter that goes off every time they lose about 25% of their HP. And uh, you don't want to fight them when they're raging. You seem to be healing the burn damage. It does heal by about 5% of the damage per two, three seconds-ish. It just takes a very long time. Slightly new to me. I've never uh, seen this area after they updated it, so there's actual mines underneath. I almost died just now, actually. And now there's players here, too. They're being very quiet, though. That's really bad. I wanted to banish him, because banishing a boss gives you back all of your health, including permanently lost health. I gotta be very quiet and very careful now. There's players here and they're being quiet. They're creeping around. Oh, they killed him. And they banished him. Annoying! All right, so now I gotta figure out where they are. They were very quiet about that. Hmm. How am I gonna get a hold of these guys? I think my best bet is to wait until they make some sort of noise. They're eventually gonna run around looking for players or try to figure out who was fighting him initially because they know a player was fighting him. It sounds to me like it's another solo which is kind of scary in its own way. There he is, hear him running. He's throwing bees. I think he threw that to cover the mines to make sure no one can approach from the mines. But he's definitely above me. Which is good to know. Just gonna wait for the bees to die. Okay, now he thinks this area is cleared, which is good. One second now. Oh. Okay. He's covering his entrances with smoke. That's good. Smart. It is a solo player, it sounds like. No way. Maybe not. He's got more than that. Wow, he's got a lot of smoke. That's a lot of smoke.
hit him in the dick with my throwing axe. <laughs> that was actually really smooth. He jumped that throwing axe almost. <laughs> ah, well, it was a good try. That was smooth. I almost had him. If I would have caught him in the chest of that throwing axe, his ass is grass. That was a good jump on his part. Clean. It's true. They did lose that fight, uh, unfortunately for him and for me. I heard another team start pushing us as soon as I opened fire, so. Awkward. He's probably dead, and so am I. I did all the work, he finished off the boss, and then another team who wasn't having anything to do with anything got the reward. <laughs> and that's the way Hunt goes. It's true. It's true. I did I did get his glizzy. I did permanently remove that glizzy with that throwing hex. Could you have yoinked the banish? Um, the banish had already started, so no. I could have waited until the boss was done banishing, ran up and grabbed it. But they had cut off almost every exit other than the mines, and there was another team pushing in, so I was pretty fucked. The tables do turn as they please, and that's totally fine. I mean, that's the way Hunt goes. If you go in solo into groups of twos and threes, you're kind of asking for it, and you may as well just accept that's how it's going to go. Like, you, you do not go in expecting a fair fight, and you shouldn't. All right, I'm going to take off this coat now. It's a beautiful coat, but I'm too warm in it, and also it's getting hot in this room, so I'm going to kick off my sweater here. Yeah, there's no reason to get upset with the solo experience in games like this. You just kind of take it for what it is and enjoy it while you're... Well, enjoy it for what it is, rather. There we go. This music goes hard. All right, uh... I'm just going to run with this build and call it even. I showed you guys the bug. Do you guys want to see anything else? Is there anything else I want to show you mechanically? Not really. I think we're good. Poison shots, vitality shots. Yeah, I'll take a vitality shot. In case I run into a boss, I want to kill. Doctor. Doctor implies they want me to go... Hmm. Doubles the amount of healing kits. I could fight from pretty far away with Doctor. Hmm. Hold on. Let me see what scopes I got. Oh, none, basically. That's right. I haven't worked up any of the scoped guns. Uh, what guns get scopes eventually? I think the Centennial eventually gets a scope. I know the Winfield does, but I don't like Winfield scoped. Vetterly gets a pretty okay scope eventually. I do really like the Archangel. Archangel? Speedshot111 says, why do you play Hunter Aim instead of Gunslinger? I find Gunslinger to be inferior. I don't want to have to push a button to do melee. I want to be able to just click my melee button when I'm not aiming down sights. And also, I don't always want to be, you know, in a position where I have to be aiming down. Uh, I like having my gun unarmed, uh, or rather, I guess, at my side instead of, like, always up. I don't know. It's just how I learn to play, and I enjoy it more. Crag is goat. I don't think I've ever used the crag. Oh, I have a nitro. I thought that was way later in the talent tree or whatever. I could do a Mosin, but I hate using the Mosin. But I do have, like, the best Mosin skin there is. God, that's a beautiful skin. You know what? Let's do it. Let's use a Mosin. It's been a while since the Mosin's been, like, the most meta. So I don't feel too bad using it. Let's try Mosin out. I like that skin a lot. Mosin, Winfield, Springfield, Sparks come to mind. Yeah, I'm a big Springfield stan. I really, really like the Springfield. It's very cheap, but... Uh, and it's also just a really good gun. I think people under undervalue it. But it has its downsides. Welcome in, viewers. What's the progression if you lose everything on death? Well, Firefly, to answer your question, you unlock more guns as you level up. For example, my account rank unlocks equipment, guns, and stuff like that, all the way up to level 100. And then you can prestige your account if you want, which I have multiple times. I think I'm prestige 12, so that makes me level 120 or something like that, or 1,200, I guess. Um, 
But once you prestige, you lose everything. You lose all of your unlocked equipment and everything. You lose all your hunters. So you have to start all over from scratch like a brand new player. And that's kind of why I like prestiging, because it forces me to use equipment and builds I wouldn't use, which is probably why I'm addicted to using the Springfield, because I've used the Springfield so many times on so many prestiges. I like Sparks. As a Dark Souls fan, I choose to be punished if I miss my one shot, says Fresh Penguin. Yeah, I like Springfield more than Sparks because Sparks is doing the same thing as Springfield Springfield for like quadruple the money. You know what I mean? Because the, the gameplay pattern is the same for Springfield and Sparks. You want to shoot someone in the chest or in the head. If you can shoot them in the head, great. If you can't, you shoot them in the chest, you switch to pistol, you get your shot off. If you do that with the Sparks, it does the same thing as with, you know, the Springfield Assuming they haven't taken one damage from anything else. I will say the Sparks is unique because it does exactly enough damage to bring anybody to exactly one HP. So they like if they stub their toe or get tapped by a zombie or take even one fire damage or, uh, you know, I don't know. Somebody throws a rock at them. They die immediately from Sparks, which is really funny. But I think that more often than not, the Springfield serves the exact same purpose. Oh, man, I love this Mosin skin. Look at this Mosin skin. Oh. <gasps> Oh, I forgot how to look at my skin in this game. Uh, there's a button for it. Hold on. No, that's not it. Hold on. There's a button for this. Ow, dude, seriously? Oh, man, are you fucking me? He dropped the lamp he was holding. Oh, that one dropped a gun he was holding. I'm wondering, uh, let's see. Remorium says, I'm wondering why you would prestige if you lose everything in the end. For the challenge. Like I said, to use weapons you wouldn't otherwise. God, I hate, hate this spawn. It always has a fucking meathead guarding it. And it forces you to, like, crawl in that shed with him. And you will die. I'm just not gonna do it. I guess I just, I got fucked on this one. And we just have to accept I got fucked. I'm not getting a clue in this area. We're just gonna move on. Sometimes you just get fucked. so tall and meaty. He is tall and meaty, and he's also missing his head. <laughs> I'm getting packet lost. Oh, no. Throwing knives are great for the meaty boys. So they are. I do like the throwing knives a lot. Throwing knives and throwing axes are very fun in this game. Any W's so far? We got out once, we died once. All right, let's do this. Hey, bud. Another meathead. There's other players here, one sec. Oh, they're like right under me. Oh, poison shots. Not with a meat head here, dude. Oh, what bad luck. No! <laughs> that was such bad luck. Oh, no. What are the chances that motherfucker was rocking poison ammo with a meathead right there? <laughs> oh, well. That's Hunt Showdown. Damn, talk about a bad round from the start to finish. Meathead guarding the fucking clue inside a shed you couldn't get in, and then those guys there just waiting? <laughs> oh, well.
Ooh, sound grenade. We tried using the necromancer trait so you can revive solo. I would say, Robert Weed, that the necromancy trait is... It is good against other solos. It is not just useless. It's kind of a joke against duos. I think that using Necromancer against teams of two and three is pointless because you will, at best, have one guy watching your body at all times, making sure you don't get back up or making sure your teammate doesn't come revive you. At worst, they'll just burn you and stand there. Does poison ammo on the sparky work for one shot? Says butter and cheese. No. So poison doesn't do any damage over time. It just gives you a wiggly screen and makes it so you're easy to track by meatheads and so you cannot heal until the poison wears off. Your mask is very F-Zero, says Tokan. I've never played F-Zero, but thanks. Now, I do believe fire ammo, if you hit somebody enough times, will ignite them and start burning their HP away. Just be unsick. Stop being sick. All right, we'll take our we'll take our little goofy build in. We'll go in with a poison bow, executioner, long axe, barrier's fist, marrow, evergreen. Don't want any utility items. I should probably bring at least this. And you know what else is really cheap? Is fire bombs. Fire bombs are really cheap. We'll bring in a little mall. Oh no, they raised the price. They're thirty now. They used to be eighteen. Ooh. All right, let's do this, baby. Just get better. Stop being sick, forehead. This will be easy. All right, we got to be real quiet, though, this time, okay? Promise me you're not going to make too much noise. We got to be very quiet. Oh, no! Shrinkflation in my video game economy? No! hunting wabbits all right the most dangerous kind of wabbits people we're gonna catch those people and those demons you better promise all right here we go gamers it's time to be extra quiet hey what's wrong with your face bud it looks like the infection maybe got to you a bit did you not take the shot soon enough Nothing like a little sip before you go into the bayou. Put your nerves at ease. Makes a man ready to meet God. Or send someone else to meet him. Yeah, this loadout was pretty cool back in the 12th century, huh, Foster? Just waiting for me. 
somewhere in the fall. Wait a second. Steady now. They're not coming this way. So they went from here to here. They went to the prison. Let's get our clue and get out of here. So what you need to know about my build is it is exceptionally close range. At best, at long range, I have this itty bitty shitty little stub nose. Uh, but realistically, my best bet at fighting at a range is uh, not to do it at all. I've got a hand axe, and I've got this longbow. And this longbow doesn't fight from very far away. Sounds like somebody knows where the boss is, and I think it's at Summoner's Port. Let's see how we do. Make this quick. Dogs. Kill the armor one. Kill that one. That one. So you always want to kill the armor one first, because it's going to run at you with its head on. And the head has a helmet, so you can't hit it. And, uh, you can't headshot it appropriately. Which makes it really hard to kill when it's charging you. So now the question is, can I sneak into Salter's port without them noticing me? And I think my best bet to do that is going to go to be to go all the way around to the east as far as I can, and then come around from behind where they won't expect me. Thanks for the chips. Fuck. Don't, don't out, don't out. Quiet. Fuck.
Someone's down here. Okay, so there's two people in the building on my left up there. And there's one person over here. Okay, now they're in the mud. They're running. So there's two teams here. It's like, gotta be extra quiet. The coughing comes from smoke bombs. You could throw smoke bombs, it puts out fires, but it also makes it so that anybody who's standing in it starts coughing loudly, which makes them easy to pinpoint and makes it really hard for them to name their gun. Camo Kelly to answer, uh, uh, Camo Kelly said, the sound design in this game is fantastic. It's so directional and crisp. Uh, this game has by far, and I'm not kidding, and I'm not exaggerating, the best sound design I have ever heard in a video game, period. It is always exactly where you think it is. Even in other competitive games like, um, I don't know, ooh, Tarkov or uh, Valorant, CSGO, it does not, it pales in comparison now. Accurately, this game tells you where sounds are coming from. Spider. So now they know where I am. She's dead. Almost. That's the problem with having a bow, is you can't shoot through a wall. Was, uh, not a mob. <sighs> Sounds like they might be running from me. Oh yeah, they are. This is a very bad idea, and I will almost certainly lose this fight, but I'm going to push him. 
With no ranged weapons, they have a huge advantage when we're out in the open field. Card Comma Gamer says, do you like two two-slot loadouts or is... No. I prefer 30 and one. But two two-slot could be good for a little vacation once in a while. So I've almost cut them off. I'm, I'm going to meet them here at Wendy Run. They don't know that I've almost cut them off. At least I don't think they know. I'm going to try and catch them here. Yep. We've got three arrows left. Well, now they know. Bad luck. Oh, well. It was doomed from the start. We tried our best. Bow's hard to make work, gamers. You can make it work, but it's hard. <laughs> so what I played wrong there was when we were in the actual um, compound, I should have pushed the guy when he was locked in that room. The move where I tried to like kind of watch him for a minute through the curtain wasn't ever going to work out because he had that chain mail fence. There was no way for me to shoot an arrow through it and tap him. So I needed to push him while he was stuck in that room alone. Uh, still an unlikely win. Like, it was unlikely that I pushed around that corner and killed him. But, eh, fun to try. All right, back to Devil's Advocate. Let's go again. Wait, who have I not done today? Let's do the Reaper. Ooh, and then we'll do Devil's Advocate second. Mm -mm -mm. All right, what do we got? Steady aim. Iron Eye. Oh. They really want me to snipe. They really want me to snipe, which is fine. Let's do Archangel. I haven't tried the baseball bat yet, but I don't think I'm going to. I think we're going to go Scott's Field. We'll take the Reaper's Hand. We'll take the Marrow. And we'll take... Let's do throwing knives for quiet kills. And then I will do two vitality shots so I can stall. And then we got the devil's advocate who has levering and fanning again. Wow, what luck. Let's do another silencer. And fanning, 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 fanning. Let's do, let's keep it cheap and do a copperhead. Easy peasy. Okay, here we go again. Round two, baby. Nope, not you. We're going to Reaper today. All right, let's do this. Man, the art in this game is so good. The actual art for, like, the um, traits and stuff. Mm. Chef's kiss. Yum, yum, yum. I'm kissing my fingers right now. You just can't see it. Baseball bat is good. It makes funny sounds when you hit people. I'll have to try that out. Uh, to those who have renewed um, memberships or dropped gifted chips, thank you. Uh, sorry if I missed those. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm going to take a little sip here. One sec. Nom, 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 nom. I am. Uh, I. Uh, I have had enough mjod at this point that I am beginning to. My, <laughs> my vision is getting a little less uh, acute. I will say. That's okay, baby. Here we go. Welcome in, Plumy. 
<sighs> now it's starting to taste like just honey. Maybe taking the mask off would help. No, that's my sniping eye. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I snipe with my right eye. That's why I keep it hidden. So that I'm not too powerful. I don't want to show everybody up with how strong I am. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's okay, Rizzy. We haven't. Uh, we only won one so far. Oh no, not a nighttime map with my sniper rifle. Oh, okay, that's fine. Game hates me. What the hell is that? Why is that? What? You hear that? Listen. Oh, maybe the secret boss is on this map. <gasps> you guys want to see the secret boss? I'll try and get to the secret boss today. If that's what that is, I think that's what that is. I'm still waiting for other players to load in though. The Reaper's hand. Oh, it is the secret boss. Ooh. It says she's that way. Which probably means right around here, right around here. Maybe even here. How did... Fuck off. See, this is what happens to the horses I don't, I don't put down. This is why we put the horses down. I don't want to get eaten ass first. That sounds horrid. That way. So she's over here somewhere? Hopefully I can get to her before I get caught by another team. My guy's getting tired. Ooh, I've got a frag grenade out of that chest. That was lucky. Hold on, hold on. Good night, Sarah. All right. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I didn't even see you there. Silence. God, it's dark. Am I even going the right way anymore? I am. Ooh, these woods are getting spooky. It's dark and there's hives everywhere. Damn. Game really punishing me for existing today. God, going through water is so loud. There. I think I maybe found her. This might be where she is. Oh, there's the rain. I think I found her. Steady now. Very quiet. Oh.
So she is down by the center of the map. That's a bad place for her to be. That's where a lot of players are going to be. Let's try and make it over there before, uh, before I run through that attitude. Shit. Someone's here. They're like right here. lucky. That dude was going through a lot. Anyway, we know she's around here, and luckily they just left there. So let's get over there and do it real quiet, like. Now that we took our, our little petty shots at that guy. Ooh, thank you for being an axehole, by the way. I almost missed it. Von Combra, welcome in. All right, give me just a second here. Let's. Ah, uh, she's here. She's here. My beloved, are you in the water waiting for me, man? Oh, there she goes. Are you in this water? Rot jaw, my beloved. She must be in this pool up here. That's new. Oh, cool. Oh, 
Oh, they're fighting over there. You see those flashes? Uh-oh, someone's killing the wraith. Let's work on Raja. I want to see if I can't find a melee weapon to beat her ass with, though. Because uh, beating her down with just my scythe is not going to be easy. Ooh, that worked. Oh, Raja! Are you in the water? Now, where'd you go? Ow, she electrocuted me. Ow. Very rude, Raja. Very rude when you think about it. Unfortunately, her electrocution saps her stamina as well, so you gotta be a little careful with Rajaw. She's mad you took her swimming on the first date? Yeah, that's fair. Rajaw. There goes all of her armor. <laughs> ow, ow. I was joking. It was a prank. Ah, it was a prank. <laughs> but it was not a prank. Oh, I like her. She's pretty. Isn't she pretty? Minus her weird rotted face. But you know what? Happens to the best of us. No big deal. I get it. Ooh, unfortunately, the other boss is pretty close. So if anybody's fighting over that boss, they are very likely to come over here and fight me as well. Oh, well, I guess. Anything for my woman, Raja. <laughs> I will fight for my honor. Come back, Raja. Yeah! Are you dead? Did I kill you? <laughs> can't tell, but trust me, her face is very rotted and covered in, like, spikes and, and grossness. Oh, there it is. See, the infection's taking over the side of her face. It's yucky. It's a big yuck. So dramatic, right? What a dramatic death. Relax, Rock. Right, where am I leaving? South? Okay, so if we get this, we run south. Luckily, Rachel, I think, only has one bounty, so she's often not seen as worth bothering with uh, groups. Unless they just want a little extra. But she banishes faster than the Wraith. So unless they're already on the way over here, it should be fine. So Rajaw is basically an electronic gator. Um, Rajaw is technically just a regular gator, but uh, she does have electricity in her body. I'm not sure how that works or why that works, but it definitely does. Oh, uh, I can't do it again. Boo, lame, lame, lame. We're leaving out the south area because I don't want to pass by the guys who killed the wraith. Make your own fireworks. Wow, so true. I make my own fireworks. 
It's beautiful. Wow. Sorry, I meant electric. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. All right, let's do this. Hello. 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 Okay, Baton got the bounty, as well as Crazy Sith. Who's Sith? What's up? Hey, friend. No, you didn't see me. That's bullshit. You're cheating. You're hacking. You're cheating. You're hacking, I said. Fuck. All right, hold on. All right, I got to back up. Get some space here. This is going to suck. No, don't. Don't. Stop it. Get some help. Fuck off. If you hit those ones with a knife or a gun, they explode. And that sucks. Trust me. Ooh, headshot. First try. Is anybody pursuing me? Nope, they're going their own way. Nice! That's a freebie for us, baby. Let's go. We get the free out. I have expected some jackass to be waiting for us near the extraction, just like wasting their whole game fucking around. You know, I have expected the Tarkov effect, I guess is what I'm saying. But uh, hey, looks like we're just getting out of here. Nice. Is this a battle royale game? It is an extraction shooter, a la Tarkov or Helldivers. I've ever had. I've seen people die to extract and pop up with Necro at the end of the game to gank people, says Foster. Actually, that's really funny. I would do that. That sounds kind of fucking hilarious when I think about it, but how would you know the timing? How would you know when to do it? That's actually really funny. Emerald Parmesan 64 says, how goes the hoot? Well, we just won our second game of the night. I think we've lost two, one, two so far. Um, I'm hoping to even it out by winning another one. Or maybe I'm hoping that somebody joins me. Stares directly into the camera. Hey, Reaper's level 19. We killed Rotjaw. Sorry, Rotjaw. Sorry, 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 Rotjaw. Mm mm mm. mm, -mm. I think I'll take fanning as my uh oh they're too close to me but nice let's get back in it you got Rotjaw though I did get Rotjaw I did get Rotjaw it was beautiful hey listen I'll be right back real quick I am going to run to uh, take an idle meeting for like 20 seconds, and then I'm going to hop in a call and see if anybody wants to pop in. You never know. You never know. All right, gamers. I'll be right back. Bye. Oh, I'll leave you the music, though. The music would be ideal, wouldn't it? You'd want to hear the music, huh?
We're not ranking hollow stars besides Ruse here. This is Ruse's stream. Nice try. <laughs> Okay, I made it into a Discord server. Just a moment. Yod. 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 Scatter! Okay, let's do this. I don't have a Discord, no, fuck that. I have the Hollow Stars Discord that I hang out in sometimes. And that's where I'm at right now. No one will ever find me there, though. It's a secret. Okay. Wait. What was I doing? Oh, right. Never mind. See? First place goes Ruse. Second place is Ruse. Third place, surprisingly, Ruse. That's not good. <laughs> Are you okay? Do you need me to call somebody? <laughs> but also, thanks and welcome in. All right, here we go, gamers. Do we want to do threes? I probably had too much meowed for three. You know what? Maybe I don't give a shit. No, let's do twos. We'll, we'll, we'll get we'll we'll rank up to threes in a bit when I feel really ballsy. <laughs> Raceley says, I feel so blessed that I get to end my birthday to one of your Hunt Showdown streams. Thank you. Well, thank you and happy fucking birthday to you, Raceley. Congratulations. I'm so excited for your, for your, uh, for your question mark, question mark, question mark the birthday. It's good for you. I hope you had a wonderful day. I hope you had time with loved ones and delicious snacks and I hope you stole everything you ever wanted. Shit, sorry, I don't know what came over me there. That was weird. Uh, Man, I gotta turn on my, my air conditioning. It's getting hot in here. Is it, is it, is it getting hot in here? I, I think I was getting hot in here. Do you guys think it's getting hot in here? I think it's getting hot in here. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is the, Am I being... Am I being affected right now? Maybe I don't need any more drink. Maybe I'd stick to water. Fuck it. Right, it's time to kill. Let's do it. Ooh, it's a daytime map, and we got our schnoiple waffle. And a horsey. Do I want to go left or do I want to go right? Blanc binary. Uh, I think I'm better off going this way. I think I'm going better off going to Golden Acres. Water, water, water. All right, more meowed it is. Thank you for suge for your suggestion. Here I go. Cringe. Well, oh, I hit the zombie. What if he has a buddy? I might be fucking up real bad here. Gotcha, bitch. There's another team here, hold on. <laughs> hold on. We're gonna have to get extra spicy with that.
<laughs> Ooh, what a shot. Oh, so many teams here. So much death. There's a dead one. Oh, I want to party. I want to play. Can I come? <laughs> oh, but what if he was a solo and he has necromancer? I should have burnt the body. Let's go take a peek, shall we? Steady. Listen. <laughs> Can't be everybody, right? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, shot rifle with the scope on it. Oh, you had a you had a gun for me. That's so nice of you. A more expensive gun than what I had. <laughs> There's a body there. But where's his friend? Or is that it? They put barbed wire on him. Just gotta be careful. There we go. Well, that was quite a party for early on, huh? <laughs> ah, good times. Okay, so that's a solo killed. That's a duo killed. That's three players down out of a possible 12. I'm here. That makes four. Which means there's probably four teams of two left. <laughs> Be a little sip of yod. In Kadu, welcome into the into the into the criminal's cut. Hey there, friend.
strange that nobody else seems to have... Well... So much for subtlety. I was gonna say strange that nobody else seems to have made progress toward the bounty. Yeah. All that action and nobody got the bounty. Hmm. The Hakitos! I didn't even see them! Did I miss one? Did I miss everybody? Oh, yeah, you were talking about the crows. I see. Oh, very funny. Oh, man, the scope got cracked when I killed him. He broke his scope when he dropped his gun on the ground. Boo! Boo! That's all right. I didn't murder them. They ran away fair and square. Mm-mm-mm. Gotta cross this river. Do a little parkour. Ooh, parkour. players. Do you hear that? That was to my, what was that? To my west? Been waiting for it to turn 12 ESD to say this, but there's a Pokemon day. Holy shit. Happy Pokemon day. No shot. That's awesome. Happy Pokemon day. Yay. Man, I'm getting bad luck on these clues. You see your legs in this game. Huh. The more you know. Yippee! Someone pissed off a horse very close to me. Somebody's at Sweet Flower. Be a Sweet Bell Flower. Oh, they're fighting the boss already. <laughs> but is it a solo or is they do they have a buddy? One just died. One died. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, god damn it. What are the chances? Fuck! Oh, that's so sad. Oh, oh to answer your question, um... Layla Renai said, what is he doing? Uh, I was in a bad position there because there was somebody dead outside the camp that they kept shooting flares at. They were attempting to uh, burn their body. So that meant one of two things. Either there was a solo outside the camp and they had successfully burned her body. Or there was a duo outside the camp and there was a very real chance that the second team player on the duo outside the camp would shoot me in the back of the head. So my only choice at that point was to stand there and crouch over and over again so it changed the level of my head so I wouldn't get one shot if uh, the duo spotted me from behind. But I also couldn't jump in the window because it would have made noise and let the two players inside know I was there. So I had no choice but to just wait. Unfortunately, it was just a timing thing. The dude who like walked out and shot me in the head happened to walk out as I turned away from that area and stopped looking at him. Just bad luck. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's okay, we got a backup, baby. We got our levering, our fanning, our resilience. Uh, this is our quiet, but very fast paced game. Uh, game guy, and I'm cool with that. So let's get it on. We're gonna go again. We're gonna go again. R and Jesus was not with me on that one. No. No, I could have got. I could. I could have gotten lucky. I did not get get lucky. Realistically, the option I should have went with there was to jump in the window and just try to engage both of them uh, in close range because I did have fanning on my pistol, but I never really like relying on fanning because it's so inaccurate. I, there's a, there's one universal truth in Hunt Showdown, and it's that if you are using fanning, you will fire a halo around your opponent that misses every shot. And if your opponent is using fanning, both of the first bullets will hit you directly in the head and you will die immediately. Uh, Nina Pedia, thank you for the delicious chips. Thank you. Uh, th those weren't very good victory chips since I didn't win, but I'll take them as like, uh, sorry you fucking died, chump chips. Uh, thank you. Hopefully I get victory chips next time. Oh, I got moved up. Whoops, hold on. Sheesh. There we go. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody asked earlier, is this game worth picking up still? Um, yes, I would say it has a relatively healthy community of core players, but because you're picking up a game that is six years old, you're just gonna you're gonna be up against players who know more than you early on and a lot of the game is just knowledge and knowing what walls you could shoot through and etc cetera, etc cetera. caldwell true shot is the most accurate gun you can fan with if i remember correctly i don't know what that is i've never even heard of the caldwell true shot is that new Oh, it is on sale right now. You're right. Yeah, now's a great time to pick it up if you're interested. Uh, I've been playing... I haven't been playing much Hunt, but I do play Hunt when I want to play a shooter. Um, recently, what I've been playing is Helldivers and Last Epoch, but I always come back to Hunt at some point. Okay, so we got Fanning. Yep, Fanning. And is this Lever? Yeah, we have Levering. Okay. Okay. Goodbye, Marlo! Oh yeah, that reminds me. Another uh, another Mjod for my victory or my loss. Uh, don't have perms yet for either. Yeah, the game isn't exactly uh, super duper popular in like the common parlance in Karu. But it's a good game. It's worth playing. I wish more people did, honestly. But I also recognize that with competitive games, the longer they age, the harder it is to get into them.
sweet sounds of Louisiana. Random ladies screaming loudly and uh, the pew 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 of random gunfire. Just like, just like my mama's hash. Fuck. See ya. Yeah, damn straight I closed the door. I don't want barbed wire man following me. This is supposedly my quiet build, but we can see how well that's going already. What the hell? Oh, it's a zombie. I was like, is that a dead player already? This area is very exposed outside the fort with a lot of open terrain, so I tend to move in really erratic position uh, patterns to make it super duper hard for people to catch me. You're welcome. Uh, Ranger Mark, he says, can you say, shh, listen, before I go to lunch? No, actually I will. Hey, did you see that I was wearing your coat earlier? It was great, I was loving it. Uh, but it did eat up a lot of the screen because of the little wood sticks hanging out the back. So I had to put it down, but thank you for the coat. Hear that? What kind of soup did I cut for this? Uh, probably the soups you guys are constantly giving me. That's why I use this gun because it's got all the soup in it. It's got all the soup you guys are constantly giving me in it. Look, I'm, I'm using a soup can to silence my gun. I've got a soup can full of rags. Oh no, there's water devils in this water. We gotta hurry. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Parkour. Ooh. Who am I? Sounds like they're fighting the boss already over there, so I guess I should head east. Sorry, I thought I heard a player to my east or my west for a second. Nah, that's the paranoia talking. We're good. Let's keep moving. And then I catch a bullet in the back of the head. <laughs> I knew I heard a player behind me, you motherfucker. Do they have necromancer or a friend? I tried to wait a long time to see if a friend show up, but I didn't see a friend. Do we leave him? This is this this is what I get for not trusting my fucking ears. Even when I'm like, you know, just a little itty bitty bit tipsy, I really should trust my goddamn ears. I knew I heard someone in the West. I'm a fucking idiot for not trusting myself. What was I thinking? All right, I'm gonna give them a few more seconds to see if they get back up. If they do, we stab them. If they don't, that's good. Oh, they had a bayonet. That's cool. I want a bayonet. Oh, man. I think I'm gonna take the bayonet. That's fine. Well, the silence gun is really good, but this is long ammo. Long ammo's pretty expensive. Let's go ahead and take the bayonet. Where's your pistol? I bet you had a better pistol than me, too. My pistol sucks. It's really cheap. No, you have the same thing. Oh, but yours is an officer, so better fire rate. Okay. Cool. Are you going to get up? Be honest with me. Are you... I got to go party. Fire in my room!
Someone's over there too. Interesting. There's a lot of players out here today. Two of them. One's got a bow. One's got a rifle. Wait, maybe they both have bows. They both have bows. Nope, this one's got a rifle. We want to kill the rifleman first. The move is probably to retreat as far as I can and go for a sniper's position. There's one. Ah! Ooh, that was so clean. That was an incredibly good shot. Wait, you had a bow. How'd you get a fucking Mosin? Wait a minute. You had a bow earlier. How'd you get a Mosin? That was a really good shot. Good for them. That was nice, actually. That was really nice. That was just a straight clean shot. Oh, they're being shot at, though, in return. Oh, no, their reward for killing me is dying. Was that a different person with the exact same outfit? Weird. Maybe they picked it up. Maybe. They might have had Quartermaster. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they had Quartermaster. Oh, well, that's what I get for missing my first shot on the first guy. That's my fault. Took it off their dead buddy. I didn't kill their buddy. I actually missed the first shot on their buddy. I should have uh, just backed off, like I said, and gone and found a new position. Yeah, Quartermaster allows you to carry a three-slot weapon and a two-slot weapon, so it's possible they were carrying a three-slot and then swapped to a dual-slot. This shit used to be my jam! It can be your jam again, Gavis Bettel. I summon you from the depths of the darkness, from Phantom's uh, uh, odious foul sack. I pull you forth after unzipping his back. <laughs> Hey, oh, battle, how's it going? What was that one bullet shotgun? You're thinking of the uh, Romero, right? The one that like tr fucking shreds through wood? Oh, no, wrong. Uh, let's do. I feel like I want to keep playing Devil's Advocate, but I feel like Lonely Hal is my lucky character. So we're going to go Lonely Hal. Oh, perfect. And Bullet Grubber and Iron Eye? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Look at all these people saying, play with us, Gavis Battle. Play with us. Look at how desperate they are, Battle. Battle, you're going to deny these people their just reward. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. If you're busy, you're chill. Oh, a penny shot. Interesting. Listen, stop grappling at Battle's skirt tails, you bunch of fucking animals. It's crowding around, grasping. Play with us. Play like a bunch of haunted Victorian ghost children. Stop being freaks. <laughs> Let me scoot back. Hold on. I gotta. I gotta get into my gaming position. Mm mm mm. Maybe, maybe. Posture check. I am, I, you know, my posture was actually getting really bad there for a second. I was starting to shrimp really hard. Um, so, yeah, posture check, I guess. Just this once, only once, will I break my incredible war of attrition in which I refuse to ever correct my terrible, terrible posture. Just this once, I will say to you, stop sitting like Coraline's dad and sit up. I've had enough. No more games. All right, let's do this. Hold on, one more, one more sippy, and then I'll get going. Nom, 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 nom. Am I drinking water? What am I, a coward? No. Hold on. Uh. Ah. 
Taste the E. Hey, what's wrong with water? It's nasty. Are you drinking the blood of your victims? No, not today. Usually I'm drinking some sort of stamina potion. Today I'm drinking a confusion potion. Which is fine. Confusion potions are funny. Just regular old honey meal. Just the regular kind, Raven Devoid. Um, I considered getting blackberry, but I decided against it because I haven't really tasted a lot of uh, mead. Um, so I thought I would try this one just to get a baseline. You're playing well for being slightly confused. Thank you, Adonai. It's time for me to get an incredible dramatic win, though. I've had enough playing okay. It's time to play good. It's time to it's time to dunk. I've gotten away with two bounties. But I feel like both times I didn't get like an like a really good, really exciting play. You know what I mean? Like I really want to get one of those, like. I'm not here to win. I'm here to get plays that I'm like, yeah, I felt nice. Carmezzi Agape says, oh, that sounds yummy as heck. Did you get enough for the class? I did not. You know what, though? I did do a little uh, taste testing of uh, Mjod at um, the place where I bought it. And it was, of course, the day after I bought what I already have, which is a shame. Because I was like, I'll just try the baseline. And they gave me a bunch of different ones. They gave me a blackberry one. They gave me a um, strawberry one. They gave me the baseline one, which is just straight honey flavor. And then they gave me one that was maple. And God damn, I'm not going to lie to you. That maple one. But, and I am just sitting in abject sorrow because my favorite was maple. My second favorite was blackberry. My third favorite was strawberry. My least favorite was the regular. And I'm sitting here sipping on the regular like, damn it, I fucked up. Yeah, maple, maple mjod goes hard. It is mjod, right? Am I saying that right? Am I saying that wrong? I don't remember how to pronounce it in its native tongue. A pear mead? That sounds pretty good. My only fear with maple is it might get too sweet over time. I don't think it's mead. Is it mead? I, I think it's mead when it's been translated to English, right? Every time I tell people I hate water, they side on me. I mean, that's fair. Water is good for you. I'm, I'm not saying you shouldn't drink water. You should drink water. For all of my water hatred, I like water okay as long as it's filtered. Um, water good for your teeth. Uh, I just don't like faucet water, and I drank a lot of faucet water growing up. I drank a lot of water that tasted like swishing around a mouthful of pennies that came out of a man's pocket after he trenched them from the bottom of a well that's been sitting for like four years. I came from the place where, yes, technically the city has deemed the water illegal, but only barely. <laughs> Wait, no shot has been two months. It has. It's already been two months. Can you believe that, Rosie? All right, where are we going? Uh, you, oh, I'm getting a little let. Oh, oh, no. The dizziness is hitting us. The dizziness is hitting us. Let's, uh, you know what? We're going to make it work anyway. I'm going to win this. I'm going to win this round so fucking spectacularly. You're going to lose your mind. Watch this. I only get stronger the more confusion I get from my potions. Here we go! All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to down the rest of this cup, and then we're going to focus on the game. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm. I've never been drunk in my life. And I never will. Well, there was one time I was drunk. But I never will be, baby. I'm too strong for drunk to this. Be a half sunken house in a half sunken swamp. You love to see it. We're leaving out this window, though, so I don't have to deal with the zombies that are behind me. Bye. Oh, they still heard me. Bye. Oh, hello, Flynn. Oh, back here. What is this? Oh, Sparks. Nah, mine's better. Bye! Somehow it feels like a lifetime in no time. I, that's what I was saying the other day when I thought about how long I've been streaming. I was like, man, it feels like I've been streaming forever. And I was like, I guess it feels like I've been streaming for no time at all. Isn't that weird? Like, when I think about the amount of, like, homework I've done and things like that and side projects I've taken part in. Which, by the way, I'm super excited for you guys to see some of that. And also, uh, if you haven't already gotten your tickets, if you're going to be in Japan during Hollow Expo, 
Um, get your tickets now, because if you uh, go to my meet and greet, you'll get my signature on one of the little cards with all the little hollow stars on it. Um, but all the side projects I've been doing and stuff, and the fact that I get to, sh like, you know, be, like, on a meet and greet and talk to people, like, you know, not in person, but digitally in person, that's pretty fucking exciting. But also a ton of homework, and I want you guys to see all of it and be excited, because I'm excited, but man, it's been a lot of work. It's been a lot of work. I have been, uh, pretty fucking swamped. It's gotten down to the pathetic levels of every once in a while, I consider it a treat if I can give myself 20 minutes to play a game in a day. I'm like, ooh, 20 minutes, wow, what a nice day, what a lucky, what a lucky turn of events. Lucky there's a medkit laying there. I really want to put some time into Last Epoch. Have you guys played? Oh, what the fuck? I was moving so fast, too. Damn, I was moving fast, and they already killed the boss. Um, I was playing a little bit of Last Epoch, and I found that... Uh, holy shit, my thoughts are everywhere. Uh, God damn, my brain is scrambled. Uh, I was playing Last Epoch, and I found that it has an incredibly diverse customization system. I think it's one of those games where when you first play it, you think it's going to be super simplistic and not worth your time, and then the deeper you dive, the more you realize, holy shit, this has an insane level of customization. Uh, and I'm excited to dig into that. I, I, I do wish I could, um, I wish I could stream it, but, you know, perms and stuff like that, and it's gonna take time, but I, 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 w I would like to at some point. Me leveling my squirrel summoner while watching. Oh, I too was considering playing the primalist. It's between pri primalist and rogue for me right now. I haven't decided. I feel like I'm like walking through one of those dizzy little dreams where you're like you're you're parsing what's in front of you, but almost a, like a half second late. Like like it's like there's input delay in your brain. Like you see what's happening, and then you're like, oh oh yeah, that happened, and you kind of like process what happened. Wait, someone's at the boat. Would they be leaving already? What the fuck? Hold on. They're already at the boat over there. Why? <laughs> Maybe they didn't like their build. That's so weird. See the boat? Steam coming out? Or no, that's fire. They lit fire somewhere. What are they doing? Why are they all the way at that boat over there? Why are they running? Why are you running? Maybe they really like their hunter. They didn't want to lose him. Mm -hmm. Good night, Oracle. All right. We're going to go into sleepy zone now. I've decided it's sleepy hours. Uh, mask's coming off. Um, yeah. Let's party him. I guess he left. I'll give him a second to run up. If he's going to run up, and if he doesn't, we'll just keep moving. Um, I only hear zombies. Uh-oh. Mm. Ooh, medkit. Lucky. I guess I don't need that, though. Ooh, ammo. Oh, no, that's shotgun ammo. I thought it was long ammo. I mean, my brain is everywhere. Why did they leave? This game's so weird sometimes. You know, that's actually one of the things I really like about this game, though, is you can never predict what people are going to do. It's, it's never 100%, right? Like, in my brain, I'm like, oh, okay, like, they're obviously fighting somebody over there. But the reality is, they might not have been. They might have just been running. They might have just been running because they didn't want to do this map, or they didn't like, they didn't want to lose that hunter, they didn't like the build they brought in. Like, there's a thousand reasons why they might have been over there, and I'll never know. And I love that about it. I love that there's times where I'm like, I have no idea why they did what they just did. And uh, that feels cool. That feels very, like, realistic to how, you know, being in this situation would be. You, you don't know. You don't have all the answers. There's no, like, right answer. 
Wait, they pissed off. They are still out there. Well, God damn it. Fuck. I gotta get back in my tower. Hold on. What, were they waiting for me? Are they stream sniping? You are you little fucker? I see him. How long is this bullet gonna take to travel? I gotta think for a second. Hold on. I gotta get down from here in a second. I'm gonna get sniped. Uh, let's get down. I'm getting down. All right, that was fun. Luckily, I have bullet grubber, so I can catch my bullets in midair when I eject them. Um, so I don't lose any bullets for reloading real quick. Uh, so knowing what I know now, and that there's a guy over there. approach this. Oh, I know. I'll go up here. Let me think, how do I win this fight? Let me think carefully. So here dog is out that way. Which means there's players down here by Catfish Grove, but the boss is by me. And no one's pushed in on me yet. Meaning that guy's still out there in the woods. Which is scary. He probably knows I reposition, reposition, re, re, repositioning. Die, die, die. Uh, he probably knows I repositioned. Uh, and I know he repositioned. So what is the play here? We're both just trying to scope each other out. Ooh, I almost fell. He, 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 ah, ho, 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 ho. How many bosses on this map? Two, but one of them is already claimed up here at Elaine and Sons. It looks like they're being pushed by another team because they're still holding out out there. I could start the boss, but that's probably a bad move with somebody right on the outskirts here. I really don't have an option other than I could push him or we could play the patience game. Do you guys want to play the patience game or start the boss? Pushing him is a death sentence. He could be anywhere out there, especially in the trees now. Um, so there's no reason to rush him. I could rush the boss, or I could just sit here and we could shoot the shit and wait. Uh, what is the confusion potion pay? The confusion potion... Wait, what the fuck did I just say? Holy shit. What does the confusion potion say? It says, uh, go do the boss. Get it done. Get it done. Let's do it. Uh, but my brain says, uh, patience is a virtue and you should wait until you spot movement in the wood line. Because my eyes are trained for movement and nothing else. Never mind, I figured out where he is. So, what was he... Sh now, now this creates a new conundrum. He obviously considered it worth shooting at something, which means he probably saw another player, meaning there's a third team here. If he considered it worth shooting something, he considered it worth, like, revealing his position for. So he either thought it was me, or he saw the third team. Either way, there's a third team, because if he thought it was me, he saw a player running around. Which means we've got a third party out here somewhere. Yup. He's fighting a third party, but where? Where are they?
Oh, hunt showdown, how you vex me. All right, is this Bloodhound Hunter only on computer games or is this available uh, in game store? Because I wanted to play this in a new experience and also to cure my boredom whenever I have spare time. Says, hey, it's Sean. Uh, so, Hunt Showdown is, as far as I know, a PC exclusive. So, unfortunately, you're only going to be able to buy it on the Steam store. Oh, man, I'm slurring my words. I just realized. Hold on. Um, let me reset. <clears throat> Unfortunately, you're only going to be able to buy it on the Steam store as far as I know, but I do we'll just take that with a grain of salt because there's I feel like I remember console players touching it. Oh, there you go. Someone said it's on it's on console. There you go. Uh, vinyl migraine and uh, wait, vinyl migraine. Who is that? A Is that an Arania circuit profile picture? I can't tell. Uh, vinyl migraine says it is on console and triple sus says it's on console and Jack and Dax says it's on PlayStation. I should have went and scouted for him while he, after he shot, but I didn't. I stopped and talked to you guys. I fucked up. But you know what? Who cares? Wow, he's really out there, out there. He's like in the tree line out there. Like far enough away, I won't be able to spot him. I wonder if he's shooting at that scout tower trying to flush me out. Let me get somewhere I think I'm relatively safe, which is right here. Damn, that was actually really close this time. I wonder if there's a push person pushing him. What the hell? No, it sounds like the same type of rifle, though. Quiet now. Oh, there he is. See, him? See, there's two people out there. Oh, one's got a sword! Oh, my God! They are fighting each other. Wow, 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 wow. Hold on. No, he ducked it. He ducked it. Fuck! He moved it last second. Ah! Fuck! Now I gotta move again. God damn it. God damn it. Hold on, I'm gonna focus quiet now. Shh, listen, listen. It's ASMR time. They won't expect me pushing up. They'll think I ran backwards. He's right there. Oh, there's another one pushing me over here. those two. He's used his dark vision. There he is right there. I see him. I see his gun. Does his buddy know where I am?
<sighs> Very close. Now, does his buddy have necromancer? Is the question. It's gonna be hard to hear me over the sound of the smoke, so I have a very good chance here. I want to cross over to that side so I have a clean shot on his buddy, but if I do that, he'll have a pretty good vision of me as I move around. I'm going to try to make my way over there without letting him have time to heal his friend. Um, we'll see how it goes. He probably thinks I have an ally, which makes this a little easier for me. Did he already get her up? No shot, right? In that amount of time? I don't believe it. I choose not to believe it. He's still here, though. Maybe she's there, and I just don't see the body behind the body. Uh, behind this. Yeah, the hive's very annoying. It's also giving me away a little bit, but I'm in a pretty okay position for the moment. We just got to figure out where they're at. They're being very quiet. I know one of them has a sword, and I think it was the one I did not kill, so I got to be careful I don't get in a melee with him. Mm -mm. All right, let's see. Listen. I feel like his friend's still there. I hope his friend's still there. I fucked up. God, that would be insane if he realized when I ran away. That's like some six cents shit or some like stream sniping shit to like res your friend and not be afraid that someone's watching them. Just because one guy repositions is wild. What I, oh, okay, okay. That is where I was, right? Yeah. Hmm. All right, let's do this. Where are you? Okay, I heard a horse go off up there. Uh-oh, we don't beat a wag. Could I set a trap on the ladder? I could, but I'd hear him coming up. He couldn't. He can't sneak up on me on that ladder. There's no shot. The game's audio cues are too good. Thanks, Volavolt. 
Nah, I'd hear him because the boss is in the area with me. In fact, they, it sounds like somebody left. Like, one of them left entirely. Which gives me a chance to check if his buddy's body is still there. Yep, yeah, his body's there. Oh, he's back. Which means I put myself back in harm's way just now. And there's a lot of windows to shoot me from. He had the wee blade. I had no chance. It was over. It was over the moment I ran into melee. I should have known better. I missed my knife stab by like a half inch on his shoulder. Oh, well. No! Oh, well. Man, that hive really fucking uh, ended up being his third teammate, huh? That's rough. <laughs> While you were looking for him, he was studying the blade. <laughs> Oh, brutal, man. Brutal. He had the power of God and anime on his side. You're right, GL. You're right. I, I could not hope to compete against his katana. As they say down in Texas, Sumima Saiyan, partner. Uh, I had a terrible day at work. Any words of encouragement would help lift up my spirits a bit, please, says Wolf Rain. Well, Wolf Rain, first of all, you don't have to hit me with a super for that. But second of all, don't worry about that too much. I've had a lot of shitty jobs and a lot of terrible days at a lot of different places of work. And one thing I can tell you is this. All of that is temporary. Work itself is a temporary concept. You are just there to make money and go home. And what matters is how you live out the rest of your day, no matter how terrible it was. So sit down. Have something you like, give yourself a little treat, have a little fun, play a game you enjoy, and tomorrow's a new day. You never had a chance against genuine Nippon Steel. Shaking my head. You're right, Shot Night Sui! Ah! What was I thinking going up against Nippon Steel with just a fucking measly knife? I'm just kidding. My knife is stronger than any glorious Nippon Steel. If that man hadn't had his high friend, you know, I would have had that. I had him and his buddy. But next time, next time he's mine. I will never wield a katana. There's no world in which I will grasp the blade of Nippon Steel. That ah, hive was a paid actor. <laughs> it's all right. Next time we'll get him. I mean, honestly, good for that guy. I'm excited for him. If I were him, I would be jazzed. Like, you're just not, it's not often you get a good melee weapon kill. And when you bring something like a katana, you are actively looking for those. I'm sure he's very happy I ran into melee range with him. Ruz, are you playing for a longer time? I might play a round or two more. We'll see. I mean, I don't see why not. I'm goofing around. I'm having a good time. What am I doing tomorrow? What am I doing tomorrow? I forgot. Why katana when you can have axe? You bring up a good point, Blob. So what's interesting about the axe is that the axe used to fill the slot of being the cheap two-slot melee weapon. The problem with the axe is that it has less range than the cavalry saber. It takes up more, like, slot than the cavalry saber. The only saving grace of the axe in this game is that it's very cheap. Any big axes in this game, there's, like, fireman axe, like, level axes, like, forestry axes, woodcutting axes. Oh, my map of Minchies tomorrow. Oh. 
Oh, I see. Oh, man, it'd be so cool if there were spears in this game. I'm your dad. It's okay, dad, says Chocolate Angel. You're always a winner in our hearts. Thank you. Thank you, Chocolate Angel. This is why you're my little angel. <sighs> Tasty. I need a stamina potion. Ugh. Maybe I'll do that after this round. Let's do one more. Wait, why do I have you? Did I unlock you? I unlocked it. Unlocked it? I unlocked the infected. But when? You guys want to do an axe only run? I could do an axe only run. Hold on. Let's do uh, the headsman. That'll be f no. Let's do a devil's advocate. Axe only, nothing else. Well, okay. Let's do axe only, and then we'll do knuckle duster, so I can handle some. We'll do a few silenced weapons, so like throwing weapons. Hold on. I gotta unequip these. Unequip the cancel. Unequip. I gotta do knuckle dusters. Uh, medicine and throwing knives. That way we at least have a couple answers for silently killing things. Let's do that. Let's do a goofy run. Apparently this run was meant to be bows, but I refuse. That's a good point. I forgot to buy a stamina po- oh, That's a good point. I forgot to buy a stamina potion. Okay, now we're going in, baby. <sighs> Kills? Unlikely. But every kill I get with just an axe and nothing else is worth five kills with a gun. Oh wait, I gotta put on my Orenjimaru uh, outfit if I'm gonna be doing this. Hold on, 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 hold on. We gotta get in our devil's advocate fit. We gotta get the we gotta get the thumbnail and make it true. Good night, Spud. <laughs> All right, let's kill. Bunch of graves. Yeah. In worst case scenario, we go for a Hail Mary with our throwing knife and try to knife someone right in the head as we're running. <laughs> if I get a throwing knife kill this game, that is going to be the most incredible kill you've ever seen on stream. Trust me. Throwing knives in this game are not an instant guaranteed kill unless it's a headshot. Um, so if I land a throwing knife kill at Honestly, any distance, it's going to be the most incredible thing I've ever done. Ah, tasty. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, look at my gloves. Whoa. Everyone was wearing fingerless gloves. The coat looks low-key kind of comfy. It is kind of comfy. Look at my legs, too. Look, the, the fur goes down to my knees. Isn't that cool? Good afternoon and woo! One month! Thank you, Amaru Sawada. Stop fire zombie. 
Oh, hey, bud. And this is why we brought the knuckle dusters, so we don't have to make them explode with our axe. Someone's already here. Let's hurry. Gotta hurry. You ain't even sleeping. Don't play. <laughs> What's up, baby? <laughs> Why kill the horse? Because the horses, as it turns out, are not only lame because they've gotten one of their legs broken. Hold on, I hear something. One sec, I gotta focus. Shh. Listen. The horses are lame. And also, zombies will eat them alive while they're laying on the ground if I don't kill them. So I'm giving them mercy. Gotta go fast. Wait a second. I feel like I hear something. Steady now. Be very, very quiet. All right, we do a little bit of drugs. Hello, other Axel. Now, where do I want to go? I heard gunshots that way. So, there's enemies that way, but there's also potential uh, guns that way, which is going to make my approach very difficult. I also just realized I didn't even bring like a spy scope, so the only zoom I have is the slight zoom I get for doing my throwing guys. So they are up here. Okay, cool. The more you know. Um, do we want to approach them and try to kill them and get the bounty, or do we want to be their guardian angel and kill everybody that tries to get to them? The idea of intercepting people seems funny to me, so I'm gonna wait here, and then I'm gonna get them. They come. I hear him. They're that way. I get the feeling they're going to want to come down this road. I could be wrong. I'm just guessing from where I last heard their shots, they could go long. We'll see, though. Wait for it. Listen.
They could also have just retreated to here, assuming that these guys are going to try and go up here once they get the bounty. But those guys will have to pass through me. They're up there. I'm in 12. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. I better just not move. If I don't move, they won't see me. See. If you don't move, they won't see you. So do they run south? If they run south, it's gonna be a bit of a, a bit of an annoyance for me. Or do they just stay in there? Hmm. Now what do I do? Only one guy pushed him? What's going on? What happened? What happened? Why did only one guy push him? Seems like they've engaged with our guy. Let us go join the fray. Now remember, we're not trying to win. We're trying to get a throwing knife kill. Bye, Saya. in this bit, little shed here. The problem is if I approach the shed directly, the enemies that he's fighting are going to see me. So we got to be a little quiet. He's right there in the woods. See him? We gotta get really close. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, that's good. There's one right there. There's one right here. means they have a new bounty. That means they can see me.
I got him. I hit him twice. I hit him twice with throwing knives. Okay, shh, shh, shh. it's okay, it's okay, we're fine. They don't know where I am. Okay, now they know where I am for sure, for sure. We gotta heal as fast as we can. They did not like those knives. Don't be cowards. Come on. They're going to run the whole way. Oh. Ah! <laughs> uh, is that what we're doing? All right. All right. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta cross the river sometime if you want to leave. Okay, he's directly across from me. He's over there. See him on that walkway? He's wiggling. He's peeking, trying to get a shot on me. I'm gonna move back a bit. <laughs> oh, here they come. Not bad, not bad. That was fun. I mean, I almost beat a man with a fucking shotgun using throwing knives at, like, melee distance. I will absolutely 100% take that. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> oh, man, that was funny. That was a good time. It's about sending a message, exactly. When they go check my body, and they're like, this guy had a hand axe, and he hit me with throwing knives. They're going to be like, what the fuck? Oh, that's funny, man. All right, all right. Uh, fuck. Uh, um, let's, do a, let's do a Lonely Howl, and then I might call it there. We'll see. Levering, Quartermaster, Scope Smith. Perfect. Let's do Scope. Nope. Levering. You know what I want to do is I want to do a levering mission. Uh, I want to do a levering gun, rather. But because I have Quartermaster, I also want to do a, um, I want to do a baseball bat. Is baseball bat two or one-handed? Uh-uh. Oh, it only eats up one slot. Oh, that's a bummer. Um, 
Well, I guess we can't do that then. Let's do levering. Okay, how about this? Instead of that, let's do a, um, let's do a vandal. We'll do a vandal on this one. Oh, what about this though? Ooh, railroad hammer. Huh, that's a lot of damage. I'll tell you what, what we'll do is I will do a super long range gun. We'll do like a heavy ammo gun that fights at a good range. We'll use the Springfield Crag. I've never actually used that and I've heard good things about it. And then for our close range, we'll use levering. We'll use the Winfield Vandal. Oh, uh, that's beautiful. We're so smart. Why are we so smart all the time? All right, this is our run. This is the run where we win probably. I changed my mind. I want throwing axes. Thank you. Let's use the calling bird. Yeah. And then we'll do like a stamina shot. We'll do, uh, no, I, I mean a health shot, a firebomb. That's probably fine. We've spent enough on this build. Well, I made a lot of money today for some reason. I thought I was down to like 4K, but I'm back up at 7K. When did I make that much money and why? This is the run. I feel it in my bones. Christy DA says Romero hatchet still counts as an axe. Mm! It does, but still. All right, this is the run. We're going full ASMR. No, no, no foul ups, no fuck ups. Let's do this. Here we go. It's, it's soft boy hours. It's soft boy hours. We're getting soft. Oh, we're so cozy. We're so cozy. We're so chill. Oh, fuck that. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, here we go, gamers. You ready? Let's do this. <sighs> okay, activate chill hours. We're just gonna be calm. We're gonna kill. Good night, JD Anarchy. Oh, I'm so thirsty. I'm not saying this is the last run, but it might be, we'll see. What if one day I did a hunt showdown stream where I'm like, I don't end until I wipe the entire lobby. <laughs> well, that's a good sc Ooh, I like that iron sight a lot. That's very crisp. Actually, Lemon Cat, I think that would probably be the perfect stream for me if I said I'm not I'm not stopping the stream until I wipe the entire lobby and then I won the first game. That would be like just my streaming career in a nutshell. It'd be perfect. It'd be beautiful. Everything about it would be exactly as it should be. All right, we're heading down to Wall Battery. We're gonna go find the Squida. So, fair warning, if you have arachnophobia, get ready. Saw we I thought I saw a poison, but it was just a widow, a widow weef. Players, huh? Higher 
it quos. Oh, so someone has been here. I think I know where the boss is. I get the feeling it might be in that building right there. Don't quote me. here. Trap. That makes things awkward. either on the other side of these boxes or right on this side of the wall. 
it's going to be impossible to approach him from the trap side. So what do I do here? Hmm. There's only one other, two other ways into this compound. And both are bad. Both the choke points. Maybe with traps. Hmm. So they're inside. No, never mind. They're on metal inside. So they're staying inside, which means they've trapped the other door. They're playing super duper careful and cautious. So that means that they're playing like incredibly turtle. They are not going to push out no matter what. Um... Hmm. I could go on the roof, Christy. DA, but if I go on the roof, then I'm just opening myself up to other people who might be pushing them. And if another team comes, that might be my one chance to capitalize on this. If another team doesn't come, it's me versus these two. And I gotta force them out of here somehow. My other option, the better option, is to run north and force them to chase me. Because they're gonna have to come this way anyway, once they get the bounty. They have to go here. Distant. Ugh. I gotta get far enough away they might not see me, if I'm lucky. your question uh not until we get perms which who knows when that'll be if that'll happen they could try to cycle all the way around but that'd be really bad for them and i'm only one enemy surely they think they could take that fight right Ooh, i'm all meowed up come get some Are they going to run south? What would that do? Are you just going to camp in there until time runs out? Because, I mean, I'll wait. I'll be petty. I don't mind. just waiting inside interesting well let's see who has more patience good night metropolitan Mm. 
they're behind the building back there. How far away are they gonna run? Is, are, are either of you ever gonna push me, or are you just gonna vibe? I guess they're gonna vibe. All right, let's wait a while. Good night, Donna. Good night, Metro. Give it a minute. We'll see what they do. I'm just gonna kick it. Unfortunately, with all their traps in there, there's no reason to push them. And this is the uh, the reality of Hunt Showdown. Sometimes you get a team that's willing to sit here for 20 minutes doing nothing because they want to camp up. So we'll wait. Victory always goes to the team who's willing to wait. Or push and get aggressive. But if you're going to trap every door, I'm going to wait. Ugh. After this round, I'll probably go make myself a stamina potion. Oh, one of them might be getting brave. Wait a minute. They're running all over the place. Oh, I almost left ASMR. <laughs> what I meant was they're running all over the place. No, neither of them is getting brave. Gaktion says, I take it this is your favorite game, Ruse? No, not really. It's a game I like. I wouldn't call it a favorite. Seems like they might be pushing, finally. Or at least considering the idea of pushing. Yep, one's in the water. Oh, are they going under the bridge, maybe? No, not close enough for that. But I thought I heard something moving down there. Oh, one is pushing me. He threw a grenade. It missed. thinking about making a run for it. They're making a run for it, okay. Good shot. See. This is why we don't trust fanning, by the way. Ah! 
Ooh, what a shot! No way! He landed the ball. Oh, you steal ball. Never mind. That doesn't count. <laughs> that was pretty good, actually. He played that really well. Oh, he had a bomb lance. I'm really glad I didn't push him with the knife. I thought I was going to rush him with that knife. That would not have worked. <laughs> I thought he landed that bomb lance on my chest, but he had the steel ball ammo. It's just the kind that sprays once it hits the air. Oh, uh, man, I thought that was a really clean shot. Still, I mean, he had okay shots with his pistols. That was still pretty good. That was really cool. How did he not kill me, I wonder? Yeah, that levering fuck. This is what I was saying earlier, uh, Hantai. You said that levering was unlucky. That is the truth of levering. If you are using levering, you will always paint a halo around your opponent. If your opponent is using levering, I promise the first shot will be a headshot every time, no matter what. Still pretty fun. I enjoyed it. So sad. I've been taking home so many L's today. Uh, let me give an offer. Oh, well, maybe I'll do one more. Maybe I'll do one more and get my XP. Hmm? Could have got him with a Nippon. No, I don't think the Nippon Steel outranges the Bomb Lance, does it? I think Bomb Lance outranges basically every melee weapon. Other than possibly Cavalry Saber, and even then. Mm, tippy. One more? One more? All right, I got to make a stamina potion. I'll be right back. Bye. Bye 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 bye.
Aura, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Let's try something a little different, shall we? Let's do... Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, let's do something with an X, I think. Yeah. But what do I want? I need something like an aim. Something like a Winfield Vandal. Nice. And then I need something that can stop the fire zombies. And maybe I'll fuck around with fuses for fun. And some poison trip mines. And a little bit of vitality shot. Yeah. That'll work. Kool-Aid. Let's do it. Mmm, chocolate pickle. Thank you, Jono. I will parry that and slap it right out of your hand because chocolate and pickles do not go together. I am not interested. Well, Mecca, I too am a Winfield liker. I like uh, Winfield and I like Springfield. I like all the field weapons. I think my favorite gun in the game is definitely just the regular borderline or just baseline Springfield. I don't want no goddamn Kool-Aid pickles. No, thank you. I don't want Kool-Aid, and I don't want chocolate. I just want my pickles. I want some hot dogs. Ooh, I think I got some leftover chicken. Stomp, clap sound. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Ooh, a glizzy. <laughs> Man, a hot dog would go so hard right now. A little bit of mustard and ketchup on it. Oh, that would go hard. Oh, that would go hard. More singing covers? No, but I will be doing... Oh, that reminds me. I'm going to be doing karaoke this week. So if you have any karaoke suggestions, feel free to use my karaoke tag. It is uh, under or above my... um schedule for this week on Twitter. I believe it's hashtag Crimson Tunes. So if you got anything you want me to sing, put it in there. I'll take a look at it. If I know it, I'll s try to sing it. Exactly, Susu. Crimson Tunes. Thank you. Alright, gamers. Where are we going to today? Ooh, Secret Boss. And I do have an axe. And an axe is good for killing Secret Boss. I do like using an axe against the little Rotjaw. Do we want to go kill Rotjaw? Let's try it. Let's try for Rotjaw. We'll see how it actually us. Ever tried dill pickle chips? They're good. I have tried them. I don't particularly like them. You know what else I don't like? Kettle chips. And ruffly chips. You know those wavy chips? Ugh. No, thank you. Oh, it's the same way I was already going. What are the chances? Dogs. Mmm. Shut up. I see.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ew, vinegar chips? No, thank you. Yucky, yuck, yuck. I don't want your crunchy ass kettle chips. I just want chips that'll taste good. Thank you very much. This way, habitus. This way, habitus. This way. Ooh, I thought someone was up in that window for a second, but it's just the glare of the light. Oh, Rajah's here, huh? There you go. There you are. Let's wait a second and see if anybody else ends up here. So, who is Rajaw, says Remotely Roost? Great question. Um, Rajaw is an alamigator that many, many, many people have tried to kill and failed to kill over the years. Ow, she bit me on the way out. Um, she's been caught in hundreds, dozens, thousands of alligator traps, killed tons of trappers. Amongst other things. And also seems to be harnessing the power of the blight to create some sort of electric barrier around herself. You missed! So that is who Rotjaw is. Also, my beloved. Don't do that. Don't don't be weird. Don't be weird. Ah! You're being weird. Stamina potion so we can go for round two, baby. Here I come. Ow. Ow. All right, so now she can't drain my stamina because I have the stamina potion. Side is that this is out in the middle of the marsh with no cover. So once I grab this, I'm a sitting duck, and anybody with a long range rifle is going to be shooting at me from across the way. And they've got a lot of upper and high hills to fire at me from. But I am king of these marshes, and I know no fear when I stand amongst the reeds.
I'll take that Raja home, and I'll get out to the southwest. Since no enemies. That's a free win as far as I'm concerned. My stamina potion is still going strong. That means I can run forever. And so, I will escape this place. Someone pursues me. Ooh, I hear crows from behind. Someone wants my bounty. But not today. They simply won't have time to keep up. Fire beast. I dare say that. Unfortunately, all that armor is extremely flammable. my trace. He was after me, but he's not gonna make it in time, I'm afraid. It was a good try, but it wasn't quite right. What don't you understand, Duda? GG. Rajal does treat me well. Well, since I won, <laughs> I guess I can go again. <laughs> Poison ammo. Maybe... Maybe I do one more. As a treat. That one I didn't even get a kill, right? That was almost too easy. Mm. 
maybe just one more as a treat. Neuroro, thank you for the 10 gifted memberships. You are just, uh, uh, apparently you're trying to feed me. I will take that and I will use that to buy uh, delicious chicken nuggets at the grocery market. Thank you. That just reminded me, I have cold chicken I can eat up. Ooh, I'm excited. All right. Let's take a poison bomb. Those are always funny. Malady. In the spirit of Yule. Let's see you revive your friends if I poison their bodies. Oh, I'm gonna eat that chicken up. But I like cold chicken too, okay? I like cold white meat, but dark meat I like heated up. I like the legs and the thighs. Nom, 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 nom. Can the cats have some? No, no upgrade. You're right. I forgot to do that. Maybe we'll try and get a little cheeky necromancer play. What do we think? That could be funny. Jump up out of the grave and just start killing. This time it's not about winning. We got our win. Now we gotta get a kill. Or two. Or three. Or seven. Or eight. Anane says the entire lobby. Alright, then I'll kill eleven people. One man. One server. All mayhem. Moses, drink the blood. Okay, I'll drink the blood of my enemies as a treat. Nom, 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 Do I share my chicken with my kitties? No, I do not. They don't get human food unless they've been very good, and even then it has to be a special occasion, and they have to know that it's not coming from me, so they don't beg me for food later. Boom. Blood for the blood god. Now I go out, a lonely howl, toward the morning sun. I almost called it the afternoon sun. I was almost wrong. Of course I have cats. I have three cats. I have secret cat content, but you'll never know because it's a secret. It's my secret on my secret wizard mountain. What are you doing here? This is my secret mountain where I brew my secret wizard brews. Blink well, Nixie, but know this. If you rest while listening to my stream, I will find you. And I will exact a blood pro- no. <laughs> Just kidding! You, look in the window and say, Crimson Roos, Crimson Roos, Crimson Roos, three times and I will appear. Chump.
wait for it. Staying inside the compound. Is it bother me? Two of them. Minimum. They have a shotgun. <laughs> uh, nice shotgun. <laughs> now then, where were we? Right, well, I've heard combat to the north, so I assume now that's where the boss is and someone's already fighting it. Duda says, is it sound I see myself as a loser when you kill someone in a game? I mean, I guess not, but don't you want to see yourself as the winner? Good night, gamers, to those going to bed. So now the question is, how many enemies are left? That's a shame. They were hiding in that crater. 
<laughs> That's me, Capriel, master of stealth. Never disturbed a bird in my life. There's so much noise up here, I had to assume the spider's like right here. Consider yourselves lucky gamers, you might get to see the spider today. and ducks and everything else. So someone's in there. Someone's setting off horses in there, even. And there's two teams fighting each other, it sounds like. Good night, gamers. Ooh, someone dropped something here. There's a clue here, but it's out in the open. I don't know if I'm willing to risk that. Not yet. <laughs> okay. Just real quick, I'm gonna grab this and then I'm gonna go check to see what they're uh, shooting at. Well, I was right about where the boss is. Which means they're fighting over here. But are they fighting the boss or each other? If they are fighting the boss, it's taking a long time to kill it. Okay, so the boss is in there. But they're fighting out of here somewhere. One just died to a crossbow.
think they killed each other. But there's an enemy team coming. I hear it. called the Crimson Fist. Oh, you tempt me. Oh, wow, you tempt me. I'll take it. My axe has served me so well. It feels bad to drop it. Maybe I'll pick it back up and keep the Crimson Fist. You got back up, you sly dog. How many times is he going to get up? Sneaky little solo. Let's keep a little eye on this one just in case, shall we? I didn't realize he was a solo. Okay, so we killed two. We killed him twice. How many do we have left? You think he's got any lives left? I wish I could go find more fire to put on him. Maybe if I go in here, I'll find some. Ah, there we are. Anyway, fair warning to those with arachnophobia incoming. Well, he didn't burn, so I assume he's done. If not, the game fucked me. There she is. Oh, they haven't even touched her. Interesting. Ooh, hello. One more try, just in case. Just in case that missed him somehow. Okay, well that hit him directly, so either he's dead or he's not. I'll give it a second to burn out and we'll see. I'll let you know, Sykes. All right, he's dead, dead. I don't see any other players, so I guess it's time to start. Come here, little spider. Here, girl. Come on. Come to Rose. No, 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 no,
Shit, she jumped around the wall. Hacks. Hacks. Nerf, please. Hacks. Okay, she's angry, but... Ooh, she almost bit my ass. out the lobby gamers. Come here. Come here, girl. I know you want to come here. She's on fire and mad. Still white. Oh, and there's an escape to my... Ah, oh, I wonder if players are waiting at the escape. So the spider, fun fact, is actually a bunch of different bodies put together into one uh, weird amalgamation, a sort of chimera of corpses. It turns out it's actually a mass <laughs> grave uh, construct. Basically what happened was a bunch of farmers who had the infection got killed before they turned, which was fucked up and evil, and then buried in a mass grave. And the uh, face of the spider, which you'll see in a second, is actually uh, a poor little girl who was the last one to be buried. It's that one there. Most of their skin is obviously melted off, but anyway, in between the teeth, you can see the face of the uh, little girl who was the last one to be killed and buried. But you'll tell, you could tell that uh, a lot of its body is actually just human parts melded together. Yucky. Okay then, all that's left to do is wait. And listen. Oh, we're sending it back to hell. Wait, then where does it produce its webs from? I'm gonna assume the spider produces webs through either demon magics or maybe it's a type of marrow web, like it's a bone web. Anyway, the spider's still here, gamers. So uh, I'll let you know when it's gone. It's mostly a blackened husk that is burning to hell, but it's here. You know, I want to give a shout out to that solo who fought two teams by himself and then tried to fight me and then got up in the middle of the fire and then tried to get out the window and heal himself before he burned to death. Uh, he really did put in. He was doing the most, and I can respect that. He was trying his goddamnedest to survive this situation, and uh, you know what? Good for him. We lay a little trap, just in case we don't want him coming from that side. That's where we're leaving. Also, fun fact, the guy we killed, the Solo, is Canadian. How do I know? Because he's wearing a Canadian uh, Mountie Officer skin. Oh, the two in the beginning who got axed to death. 
Those poor babies. What does 07 mean? It is a salute. Yeah, I'll go show you the skin. At the risk of dying, I think it's worth it. For the content! Let's see, he's a Canadian Mountie. You can see his red coat and his black and yellow striped pants and his high boots. If his head wasn't stuck in the wall, you'd see his little Mountie hat. Oh, and there's a reptilian. Tragic. Ooh, with a bolt sticking out of his chest. Okay, so I see the picture now. What happened was these two teams were fighting. This person with the crossbow clearly put one in the chest of this guy who died in the doorway. And then these guys had a fight. Oh, hey, here's another Canadian Mountie. So now you can see the skin. Or hat. See? There's that. Someone's here. I said hello there. Someone's been sitting here this whole time. Trying to get me to run. He doesn't seem to want to walk out of here with me now. I see, little man. You missed with your shotgun, though, and that's the big move, my man. That's the big move. Now, let's see. Are you going to get up? Are you a solo? Do you want to stand? And now... As punishment, you're gonna sit here until I decide we're done. You and me, buddy, you didn't want to leave with the bounty, and now nobody's leaving. You and me are gonna wait until I find fire. And then I'm gonna burn your body. Get up. Let's give him a second and see what he does, shall we? Go ahead. Stand up. I want you to stand up. Oh boy. Fire. 
All that and for what? A horse just went off. Is there more people? Hmm. I guess we'll find out in a minute, aren't we? I'm sticking around until this man burns. That's my vengeance. I said I'd kill the whole lobby and I'm killing the whole lobby. Oh, the tangled web we weave, my friend. If only you had landed your shotgun shots, huh? You were close. Yeah, you were close. offered him a solution. I even said, we can leave together. I even said, you and me, as solos, we can walk away with a bounty apiece. And he said to me, no. And he pulled the trigger, not once, but twice. So he had to meet Zephyr. Maybe he doesn't speak English. Maybe. I guess he learned. I mean, I tried to avoid him. He made a decision. Only one person walks out with a bounty today. Isn't that just romantic? Did he disarm my trap? He did, uh huh? It's not very nice. All right, let's get out of here. Now here's the downside. I did not save enough uh, dark sight to tell if there's anybody waiting for me here at the escape. So we're about to find out whether or not I just fucked up massively. quiet. I guess I win. Ah, a song for you, my poor friend with the sack on your head. It seems you were already cradled for your grave. A single bullet was fired. Wow. That was one hell of a last round. I'll take that one. That's a good one to end on. Tasty. All right, that's enough ASMR and sleepy times. Well played, gamers. How are we feeling? How was that? Pretty good, right? Not bad. Not bad. I'll fucking take it. I will fucking take it. Uh, that is a round to end on. That is a round to call it. So, I think we're going to raid over to Axel Senpai. But before we do that, I did want to... Yeah, Zephyr Run, so good, baby. Nice, only melee. It was nice, aside from me jumping from time to time, said Jade Wolf. Yeah, this game will do that. It's a bit of a horror game in that way. A lot of people think it's like a raw horror game, but I feel like that's not true. I feel like... Wow, I killed five people that time. Mirren, thank you so much for the five crimson chips. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Mm. Thanks for all those member chips. Those are delicious. Gift chips taste better because they come free. You're welcome, everybody who got a gift chip. Anyway, that was a lot of fun. I apparently killed five people that round. Um, which isn't a whole lobby, but for a solo against duos, I'll take it. It's already time to stop, hunt. I just got here. I mean, I could keep going, but it seems like people are petering off and going to bed. And people are getting tired. A lot of people seem like they're kind of like, I don't know, getting sweepy. Aren't you guys getting sweepy? 
True, Mecca, true. Thank you for the gifted chip, suddenly. Yum, 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 yum. We are EP. See, look at all those EP people. No, I'm awake. No, I'm wide awake. No, I just got off work. What? Uh, uh, I don't know. I feel, hmm. Hmm. Let's see, what time is it? I've been going for about four and a half hours. For the sake of keeping this as something that can be used as a widow EP time fun. What if I did like a full ASMR hunt stream one day? What if I did like a hunt stream where I keep it all super low? Well, no, because the gunshots and the roars and the screams of the hives and stuff wouldn't make that work. Never mind. I was going to say, I could do like a sleepy time hunt VOD or something. <laughs> uh, but that wouldn't really work now, would it? Maybe keep game audio low, but then how am I going to hear the game audio so I can hear people coming from 12 miles away with my perfect hearing? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? How am I going to do that? Just stay out of fights? Oh, I could. Chimpkin time! Thank you so much for the stream. This is a lot of fun. You know what? The other Axel, I'll take that as my sign that I should go. You have voted with your membership, and I must step away. On stream game lower than yours? And that's a good point. I could do that. I could technically just set it so the... Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. Some people can sleep through anything, says Strawberry Bubbles. I don't know how you guys get relax, relaxation and sleepy time from Hunt of all things. Wait a minute. Mon V. Moose says Pokemon announcement at 7 a.m. EST. <gasps> really? Man, that makes me want to stay up till 7 a.m. EST. Wait a minute. Is this mic directional? That sounded weird. Hold on. Can you hear me over here? Yeah, you can. Can you hear me in your right ear? Can you hear me in your left ear? Can you hear me in your right ear? Can you hear me in your left ear? Thank you for the gifted chips, Sanders. Mm, gift chips. Um, yum, yum. Oh, both ears. Okay, I was just checking if this was directional. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, okay, so it's not directional. Got it. Both ears. The Pokemon Direct is at 9 a.m. EST. Oh, I want to see that. But then I'd have to stay up till 9 a.m. That's so much work. Maybe I'll just sleep. I hope it's black and white remake announcement. That'd be really cool if that's what it was. Hunt Showdown is oddly a chill game for me, says Squiggum. Unless we're comfy when watching you, that's how I get when watching you or others, says Aisha Ghoul. Huh. The more you know. I'm never going to eep. Never, Neuroro. But I do have homework to do. So you know what? Yeah, let's call it. Let's call it for now. Let's let's just say this is the end of the stream. Thank you so much for tuning in. This has been Hunt Showdown. I really wanted to get this in uh, early this week so that I can, you know, do some world building stuff later in the week. I've got a couple things going on that I wanted to talk about before I forgot. I already talked about Hollow Expo and tickets or whatever, blah, 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 blah. Um, apparently, I just hit 46K on Twitter, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't really need to talk about that. Tomorrow, I'm doing my Ruse Day Tuesday. It is going to be a membership stream in which I will be doing a Mappa Imperium. I will be completing my map. Me, thank you for the five gifted member chips. The gift chips. I'm going to start calling them gift chips, so help me fucking God. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, right. Ruse Day Tuesday. I'm going to finish my Mappa Imperium map, which means that if you did not catch the first VOD and you do now have a membership, feel free to go watch it. It is seven hours of me yapping endlessly and proving that I am, in fact, the yappiest motherfucker that ever lived. Um... I don't stop talking, and I talk a lot about world building and weather systems and geological things and fucking tectonic plates and how mountains are formed, and then I talk about societies and how those are formed and how religion works, and then I talk about, you know, world building and stuff like that. But anyway, we're going to be completing that. It might go for another seven hours. It might be shorter if I'm fast enough. Uh, it might be five. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so if you haven't watched that, maybe watch it tonight or watch it tomorrow during the day. It isn't imperative that you watch it to know what's going on. You'll probably catch on pretty quick. But basically what we did last time was we made the continents. And then we made important geological like areas and biomes. And then we made the gods that our main civilizations worship. As well as the capitals of our civilizations. Next time we play, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start expanding and making the um, you know like outer cities, outer environments, stuff like that. And then we're going to start doing some sort of like... You know, traveling between continents and the two players are going to engage with each other in some way. Heck, Deck, thank you for being a Rusader. All right, so 
Aside from that, uh, Wednesday, I'm doing a produce smasher pass. That's going to be in my EU time. That's 2 p.m. EST. Uh, it is my smasher pass list. I will tell you which produce is worth it and which produce is not. Thursday, I'll be doing a reluctant karaoke. So if you have not got in your suggestions, I would say get it in a day. Because barring looking at them tomorrow, I don't think I'm going to have time considering the amount of other homework I've got to do and the streaming schedule I've made for myself, which is the grave I dug and have to lay in. Lastly, Friday, I've got an Armist Sea of Thieves collab at 10 p.m. EST, and then it's Minecraft to close out the week on Saturday. I don't know why I started talking with W's instead of fucking R's, but it's Minecraft, and that's going to be at my EU time, 2 p.m. EST. Okay? Okay, cool. Everybody caught up? We all know what's going on? Great! So, I'm rating out to Axel Senpai Gamers. Thanks for hanging out for Hunt Showdown. This has been Hunt. It's been a great time. I really enjoy this game. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this game. Uh, it is probably the only competitive shooter I feel comfortable playing on stream because I feel like it has enough slow-paced energy, you know what I mean, to keep it going for a while. Um, the other thing I wanted to say real quick was that next week I am going to... Oh, right, I should actually... Hold on, don't leave yet. Let me, let me say one more thing. One more thing real quick. Let me close on before I forget. What about Valorant? I've never played Valorant on stream, and I don't intend to. Um, so... One more thing. Next week, real fast, I will be taking a small break. I'll be going to visit family. Uh, some family, some friends. I'm going to go see some peoples. And I will still try to put out content, but I don't know what that's going to look like. That laptop that I showed on my membership is so that I can kind of still, like, on the road, hopefully make things. I don't know. Maybe I'll stop it like a fucking, fuck, I don't know, a Wendy's or something. Um and use their Wi-Fi. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Uh, hopefully the family has the fucking Wi-Fi. We'll see. Anyway, uh, I'll figure it out. If not, what I'll do is I'll, I'll get in contact with them and see what they've got going on. And if they don't have anything going on, I'll try to maybe see if I can't do pre-recorded content. I'll have the rebroadcast of karaoke that week. So hopefully that'll count for something. Uh, we'll see. I wouldn't call it... A I don't know if it's a break. It's kind of a break. I guess it's kind of a break, but not necessarily voluntarily. Anyway, that's all, gamers. Uh... So expect slightly less content next week. I will try my best to get out as much as I can. I don't want to leave you hanging. I understand it is my duty or whatever as an idol and a content creator to make sure that you guys are never uh, dry of your ha ha he he's or else you'll go absolutely buck wild and I don't know, like pull your eyelids off and eat them or something. And I don't want you to do that. So yeah, yeah, cool. That's the last thing. Okay, bye for real this time. Also, there's a lot of VODs, so enjoy those while I'm gone if you get bored. Um, I'll try to put out what content I can. See you in hell! <laughs> Rosaders Raid! Axel Senpai is playing Metopia, by the way, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Super comfy, same energy, but in a more chaotic... In, 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 not more, more chaotic, I would say just as chaotic. Yeah, sure. You know what? I would say I'm on par with Axel for that energy. A different type of chaos. Okay? Okay, cool. Get excited. I'm sure Axel Senpai is going to have a lot of fun with Metopia. Let's do it.